100% sure, so I'm just going to start the stream on my Twitch page just to see. Yep, it seems, to, it seems like it's working. It says I'm live. Everything seems to be working. Yeah, I think we're good. No one in the chat is responding. Hey, there we go. It's all working. Hey, dudes. Hey, dudes and dudettes. How's it going? We see you, says Nico Paul. Thank you so much. Hey, Rhiannon. Hey, Kimari. Hey, Ninja Cold Twitch. Hey, One Shop. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Hey, Jack Hagen. Hey, John Tanization. I think that says Jack. Um, Jack. Um, T Herbert. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Well, this is um. This is going to be a little bit different for a stream. I am going to be streaming later. I am going to be doing more Last of Us 2. But for now, we have some lovely um, background Outer Wilds live performance music from a cellist and an electric guitar player. I don't know what the music is or the game that it's from, but it's very pleasant and it's a nice way to ease us into this um, special announcement. Oh, Ben's asking, um, am I going to bother watching the Smash stream? What Smash stream? I'm I'm out of the loop with that one, but if there's a Smash stream going on, then that can only mean one thing. If we've got Crash and Smash being announced at the same time, then that must mean that Crash is going to be in Smash, which would be fucking epic, Um, but we'll see. Ah. Oh, the Escapist says, hello. F oh, it's already over. Oh, no, I missed it. Sorry. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Yeah, no, I missed, I missed it then. Had no idea. So, yeah, that was the ARMS character. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, but someone, someone here is saying, um, um, is there, I think it was the escapist that said it was their first stream. Hello, how's it going? I'm sorry that, um, I can't, I don't, I don't really have time during the days. If this is your first stream because this is the only time you can catch me live, I don't usually play games at this time, I'm usually working, but this is a very special event. Um, we are looking for the announcement of Cash Banuka 4 just in Thomas, which is now gonna be just what every single bloody game is called now at this point. But yeah, we're just, we're just gonna be chatting, um, until the, um, yeah. Ewan Smith Music says, did you see the Bandicoot nod in The Last of Us 2? I think I was the, one of the first people to post about it. Thank you for the subscription, JMO um, RPG 5 I think that said. First stream, Sister of the Sky. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. Oh, God, where did it go? Recent events. There it is. Oh, we've had a subscription from... Oh, no, so J JMOP95, sorry. Basil has resubscribed, thank you so much. And VRL Deadshot has subscribed, thank you so much. Will Free GD has subbed as well. Very kind of you guys. But yeah, so um, last time I did something like this, it was for um, the PlayStation thing. Oh, Edible Knees! Hey, dude, how are the knees going? 510 bits, I'm ready to see Crash in his new knees. <laughs> I think we all are a bit excited. But yeah, um, like... Last time we did this, it was it, it wasn't a disaster, but it wasn't exactly it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. It was a little bit weird. Thank you, Rianon, um, for the 100 bits. Cash Banuka hype, yes, I know. And thank you, Levi Jackalope, for the 40 bits. We've had a subscription from Razzy Dazzy and Mac, uh, Macmillan um, 2101, and Jack T Herber has resubbed. Thank you so much. Very kind of you guys. Oh nine Havoc, I'm 100 bits here. Hi, Caddy. Hope everything's going well. I'm really excited. More crash, yay! No, I know. Aren't we all just? Aren't we all just excited? Banjo Man 1997, 100 bit cheer. Cash Banuka, finally. Only been waiting this, waiting since the PS5 event. <laughs> After my literal car crash yesterday, I need this. Damn, I shouldn't have laughed then. I'm now an asshole. Sorry to hear that, dude. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I've been in a. I haven't been in um a, a crash myself. Um, but so I can't possibly relate. But Jesus Christ, that sounds terrible. I hope you're doing okay. Um, Binio97, $1. Thank you so much. So I guess Wrath of Cortex is now Cash Banuka 3.5, Broth of Gringot in Japan. <laughs> yes. But anyway, yeah, last time we did this, it was um, when I was reacting and talking through the, um, the, um, PS5 um, reveal event. And, um, I figured out what the problem was, because last time we did this, um, the, the video that I was streaming onto Streamlabs was from Twitter. And it turns out that with Twitter videos... If I go full screen on my laptop with them, the toolbar doesn't go away, whatever you do. So as you can see, the toolbar is not in the way. So I've got, I haven't got, look, see? It's just, it's just the YouTube thing, right? So that just goes to show you, right? That, um, it's because Twitter video is just obviously not built for desktop viewing, I suppose. But if you go full screen on a Twitter stream, um, 
your taskbar just stays on top of it. So that's why it was all fucking up last time. Basically, I should have streamed the PS5 event from YouTube and not from twi Twitter. But, you know, lesson learned. That's what streams are about. It's all about learning on the job. So, oh, King Sizzle, 100-bit cheer. Thank you so much. Cash Banuka 4, Nath of Nortex. We've had a resubscription from Mad... Ma oh, God, sorry, I can't read this. Mad N 35 S 17. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a word spelt in letters and numbers. Keep up the good work, Caddy. Loved your PS um, demo disc video. Thank you so much. James Gibberish. New year, new knees. But what about the new bum to rate? <laughs> oh God, I think I think that was a one off. I don't think I'm going to be doing any crash ass rating ever again after that. Eli 2 subscribe. Thank you so much. And so did nobody I know. Well, I still don't know you. Part 2 has subscribed. Thank you so much. Valkyrie M has subscribed. Mr. Limp Willy has subscribed. Hope you get that fixed. RJFLA has subscribed. Stu Sharp, 190 bitch here. Thank you so much. EL Cloud 9 has subscribed. Um, I Mean Leafion um, has cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much. This is um, the one where we finally be able to catch some bazookas in Cash Banuka with Cat Balunga. Yeah, do you know what? All of those words and more. Um, Lily Haru 01, 95 bitch here. Thank you so much. Hi, Caddy. I've loved your content for ages. It's really helped me get getting smiling during the tough times of my transition. Thank you so much. And here's to many more Larfield years. Also, Crash 4 hype. Wow. Um, that means a lot to me. I hope that no one's giving you shit in this current climate. I'm, I'm sure that you're probably dealing with a lot right now. Um, just to let you know, I've got your back. Lots of other people have got your back. No one should give a fuck what you do with your genits. Nobody should give a fuck. So why people do, I don't know. Um, ultimate stream stream. Ultimate team stream? Ultimate, oh, it's, I thought it said ultimate stream stream. Thank you for the 500 bit cheer. How are the bricks doing? Um, it's pretty sunny out. I think they ran away for the time being. We had to go and get some essential shopping, so I had to curse them away. I had to, like, cast them to the depths. I got my, like, I, you know, I banished them for a bit, but they're back. Uh, report GB, 99 bit cheer. How are you this fine evening, Daddy Caddy? It is, um... Nearly 4 p.m. for me, so it's not really the evening, but I'm good, doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Mike Cross CG has subscribed. Thank you. Alter Danny donated five dollars. Thank you so much. Hey Caddy, hope you're well. I know this might sound dumb, but I absolutely adore your relationship with Keris. I hope I can have like one like yours some one day. There's one for everybody. That's really sweet of you to say, but there's nothing like it. It, it happens or it doesn't, right? You'll find the right person, and everything falls into place. There's nothing more to it than that. There's no effort really that goes into it but thank you so much very kind of you kazman dude 100 bit cheer um is there a game that makes you feel the same way chugger conroy feels about paper mario sticker star to say he doesn't like it is an understatement uh, uh, no if i can if i don't if i really don't like a game i'm i'm usually exaggerating it for the sake of a video um the, I, I a video game's a video game I, I, life's too short you know <laughs> Ratchet Extreme 6, um, 50 bit cheer. Um, hey Caddy, I was wondering what your thoughts on Borderlands 3 were since I recall you doing a video where you got to a Borderlands 3 event. Really fucking love it, but I'm not talking about it or streaming it. It's my escape game. Um, Okami Mimos 13 has subscribed. Thank you so much. Jeez, I can't keep up with all these an announcements. Thank you so much for the generosity, guys. Um, Tread322, 100 bit cheer. Nope, sorry, Daddy Caddy, you're gonna have to do the redo <laughs> the entire butt list, butt tier after you're committed. Respect from one stepdad to another. Ah, one, one stepdad to another. Thank you. Henlo Friend, one dollar. Buzzing for this stream with a plate of crashed potatoes and a cup of hot cocoa. Do not say hot cocoa in front of my face ever again, or you are getting banned. The Lucky Clover 99. I'm just joking. The Lucky Clover 99 has subbed. Thank you. 100 bits from DLC 225. True legend for the Platinum Relic Challenge video. That was mad. Thank you so much. It wasn't fun. Um, and if you followed my Crash 3 streams, even doing it on the PAL version of the PS1 game isn't fun either. So I'm looking forward to Crash Team Racing when I eventually get to that. King Gelatin has subscribed. Thank you. 100 bit cheer from Nacho Ascent. Thank you so much. Quills. Quills X 100 bits. I hope they keep the relics for Crash 4. If it's a if it's a numbered entry, yeah, they will. Um, I'm not no doubt about that at all. Acid Hunters resubbed. Love you, man. Love you too. Um, rubber slowly. Great name. <laughs> Ru not rub her slowly. Rubber slowly. Nice pun. 100 bit cheer. Thank you so much. Bounty Hunter 626 has subbed. Five dollar donation from. Jeez, guys, you the generosity is way too much. I can't keep up. Neck W's donated five dollars. Thank you so much. I've been watching your vids since the zoo race. Been loving your recent vids. Thank you so much. If, if it's if the recent vids are being loved, then I know I'm doing something right. Even after all this time, I think I'm doing better than I ever have done. So thank you. Creative Welshman, 100 bit cheer. Can't wait for the Cash Banuka Wee Wee Playland Adventure Origin of the Super Cash Shag. Jesus Christ, I've started a meme of ridiculous crash game names. Doctor Who donated $4. He's back, guys. Watch out. Get the Soltarans out my butt. Um, the Doctor travelled in time, saw the game, but didn't want to tell you and ruin it. Uh, 
Um, Blaze Water Sage, 50 bit cheer. Hello, Caddy. Um, this is. Um, hope this fine hot day is going well for you. Curious question Do you prefer open levels in Crash games or linear levels? Linear, yeah. Twin Sanity is great for the time and great for the kind of game that it is, and I would love to see them redo it, but I've got plenty of other games that fill that void. There are Mario games that do that, there's Hat in Time, there's Ukulele. I don't need Crash to do that as well, but I wouldn't be against the idea. Dredge and Bungo, 100 bits here. A little concerned about where this goes gameplay wise. I thought hoping we see some vicarious. Some uh, some of Vicarious um, Banuka, given how good Future Tense was. Your thoughts? Would you like to see the design? F right. Your thoughts on what would like to see design-wise from the new entry? No fucking clue. As long as it's like the old ones, I'm fine. Um, rubber slowly again, 100 bits. Hi, Caddy. Found your videos from Crash Bash episode and loving your videos ever since. Cash Banuka is now a must um, f phrase between me and my fiance. Very cute. Thank you so much. Friska Dimer 400 bits here. Thank you so much. Griffin Narnia or Nanya, 500 bits. Thank you so much. Whoa, he says. Whoa. Um, Dante 010192, 1000 bits. Thank you so much. Hello, Daddy Caddy. Will you be reading a Crash Banuka, a Cash Banuka story? I don't know what kind of Cash Banuka your story you're talking about. What stories do you mean? No, this is this is this is me just reacting to the. Sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. Clayforge, subscribe. Thank you so much. And a 5000 bit cheer from Akit, um, Akito Kurosaki. Thank you so much. Hey, Caddy, here are some bits for being awesome. I've been a fan since your first Crash 3 video. Wow, what, the retrospective ones? Jeez, you've stuck around a while. You've inspired me to get the Platinum Trophy in the Insane Trilogy. Thank you so much. Um, go for it. It's not actually that hard to get. I haven't got many Platinum Trophies on PlayStation, but that's one of the games I've got them in because it's not that difficult to get. I mean, there are a couple of secret ones which are a bit of a pain, but you can just, like, you can reveal them now on PlayStation, so they're not exactly cryptic. Rex, um, Rex Ra was taken. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sup, watched your vids for a while now and your crash vids got me into the series. Really excited for this. And oh, do a vid on the new Ratchet and Clank when it comes out because I obviously can't, can, because I obviously control what vids you make and definitely not a recommendation Banuka time. I'll be streaming it. I won't be doing a video on it. Sorry, dude. But thank you so much. Uh, Mighty Mandas has subscribed. Thank you so much. Kazman dude, 100 bits. Are we, are we in the middle of a fucking hype train right now? There's a lot of bits going on. I'm liking these bits. Um, I feel like, um, in the insane version of Crash 2, if they were gonna give him the Crash Dash, they at the very least- Oh my god, the fucking and I'm so- I'm not- I'm not frustrated with you guys. I'm frustrated with how much I can see on the screen. I can't keep up with these messages. I'm gonna- I'm gonna forget somebody at some point, and I would hate to forget a generous donation. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you so much. If they were gonna give him the Crash Dash, at the very least, they should have given him the other power-ups too. That, again, would completely destroy the game. I said that ages ago. I thought that would be really cool if they did that, but, um... Uh, they're fine as they are. Just having the crash dash for the relics was a nice change of pace, so I'm okay with that. Big Daddy Pingu donated four dollars twenty. Hey, four twenty, blaze it! Diddle my bum, it looking good for hash <laughs> hash bonanza for contextual healing. You've helped me so much, Daddy Caddy, through some bad times. Thanks so much, Jimbo. Have a great day, you magnificent bastard. Thank you so much. You too, Jacob McBaggins, one thousand five hundred bitch here. God, I was supposed to be talking with the fucking chat. Ah, oh my goodness. Um, it's about goddamn time we get this. Now all that's left is for them to redo Twin Sanity with all the cut content. Also, Spyro butt tier list when? He hasn't got a butt, he's got four legs and no arsehole, so he doesn't wear jeans or pants to cover up his butt, so I can't, I can't talk about that. Glass or Castle X sub, thank you so much. Spiker Jack, a 500 bit cheer, thank you so much. We have had gifted subs from Jacob McBaggins, um, Akito Kurosaki, and Rev Central. Oh my goodness gracious, guys, you're too nice. This is Lloyd subscribed. Five dollar donation from 30 boot, 32 bit Bailey. Hey, Candy Chris, just wanted to let you know I'm a big fan of your content. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna rub myself in mayonnaise and prep for Cash 4. I'm glad that I read the end of that sentence because I thought you were going to masturbate. The medieval guy, 50 bit cheer, thank you so much. Afternoon, Caddy, hope you, Karis, and the family are doing well today. Sat in the garden, enjoying the sun, and this stream is now back in our shire. Thank you so much. Ugh. Saru120 subbed. Um, subscription from AJ the Music Girl. Um, Valkyrie M, 100 bit cheer. Been binging your videos while I do boring office work from home, and now crash new um, crash announcement stream. Hooray! Thank you so much. Zoomaraf subscribed. Hewlett fan 100 bits. So hyped for the new crash game. Also, mad respect for platinuming all major crash games. That must have been hell. If possible, um, could you calculate exactly how long that took? It took me an entire week. So, it wasn't. I don't know how much time that was, but yeah, thank you so much either way. Oh shit, guys, we're going to be going. Okay, I'm going to read as much as I can. Edible knees 255 bits. Thank you so much. Okay, honey, it's ready. That, I'm I so sorry guys, I have to pay attention. Incredible musical performance. Uh, Crash is coming right up. Alf, yes, that Alf will be joining us. And we also have Day of the Dead. Wait, Alf as in Alien Lifeform Alf. Uh, look at a ton of interesting 
progressive artist. Thank you, eCloud9, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Edible Knees, for the 245 bits. Kashi Bashi 62 in the surge of Tiny's tenacious tonsils. Great. Daddy Caddy, your content is king. Loving the Last of Us Part 2 and Crash Content. Keep up the good work. Cure. Thanks for everything, says eCloud. Thank you so much. A subscription from Punpai Rai T Young. Subscribe. Thank you so much. 50 bits from Judge and Bungo. Cash Banuka 4. It's pal problem. You're right. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, guys. We hyped. We're ready for some... We ready, we're ready for some Banuka Bingo birthday bashes. Crash 4 reveal. Hey, Jeff Keighley. Welcome to hey, Jeff Keighley. Keighley. We've got a great show kicking off this week for you. Uh, yes, we're going to have a lot of um, um, bits and donation notifications going on throughout the stream because of the delay with the alerts, but I have... I have... Um... There he is! Special package for... Jeez. Look, even Crash is doing the right thing and covering his nose. If your nose isn't as big as Crash, you have no excuse. You should be wearing a mask. It looks like a BDSM thing. I'm loving it. Actually, it looks like someone. It looks like someone wearing a man thong and has a boner. Don't you think? But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, there's there's an alert with the with the with the the um. There's, an, there's a, a delay with the alerts, but I have acknowledged everything that has popped up on my screen. 100 bits from Rubber Slowly. Cash Banuka hype. It is definitely... It's, yeah, this is strong Cool Cat vibes, isn't it? The orange doesn't help. This is the Crash 4 trailer. For real? For real. It does, it does look like a man thong with a boner in it. Has he, got, has he got a dick nose? What's going on here? Holy shit. Here we go. It's linear, guys! It's fucking linear. It, yeah, you're right. It is about time. Why did you not save this for the last one? For the PS5 reveal? I guess it wasn't on PS5. Oh, fucking hell. We've got, like, um, cell shading. I'm liking this. New power-ups. Yes. Oh, it's the, it's the jigsaw puzzle. Okay, we can slow down time. We can flip gravity. It's, do it's doing the classic crash thing, but it's all new. I like this. Yes, we've got running away stages. Fucking ace. Yes. The designs look great, for this art style anyway. It's reminding me of like Psychonauts, this is, this is quite cool. Oh, Crash just did a selfie. Uh, I guess he was always trying to be trendy. I mean, he had, as good, he is down with the kids. I mean, he plays, like he gets a Game Boy Advance out of his pockets in the GBA game. So I guess that's not, it's the same thing, isn't it? Fuck me, this looks great. Oh, October 2nd. <laughs> that was the perfect subscription timing. Right. There's the big news. Crash for a brand it's in time for our anniversary, honey. Absolutely. October 3rd, yeah. And right now I am joined by Paul from Toys for Bob to tell us about the brand new Crash Thanks for Madagascar on the GameCube. I love that game. It's 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 a masterpiece. Of course Activision has done some amazing. Okay, I've heard people complain about the art style here. This is this looks great. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know, honey. This looks great. If this if if, if this character style was in insane, I would understand the complaints, but this is a completely new art style. Delighted to uh, finally unveil this secret that we've been sitting on for a while. It's oh, it's like a classic mix of all the. It's about time, and that's a it's a play on the fact that we've been waiting for so long, but also it's a game that's literally about time. Yeah, I, I want to get into it because the trailer is is filled with so much. I just I th the anno the only thing is that we know that Vicarious Visions can do a great crash level. I'm curious, like what you know, you guys have worked on. And we don't know if Toys for Bob can do a good crash level yet. I mean, you can say, oh yeah, they helped with the the Switch version of Insane, but that's not original content. I'm talking about like Future Tense. We know that Vicarious Visions can do a really fucking good um, crash level. Approach this. Like, what kind of game did you want to build? Yeah. I I guess the first thing is we asked ourselves where did we I like his Aku Aku in the back. No, it's actually got eye holes. I think you can wear that. Um, all of the fan reception cool. coming out of yeah. Yeah, 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 Cortex looks good. Uh, we wanted to go back 
to the original trilogy and start from that. That's all you needed to do. Wrath of Cortex tried to do that and then tried too hard and put too many vehicles in and tried to do too much shit in too little time. Especially with no, like... that's where the events are going to key off of. We're taking... With no trusted developers back in the, um... Dr. Neo Cortex... Entropy no, well, no. Traveler's Tales were tr were a, a trusted developer. I mean, like there was multiple publishers, and it was it was just Wrath of Cortex was a mess in terms of production. So there was it tried too much and didn't have enough resources and too many like pulling strings on each end of um their bodies. He does he does look cuddly. Coco looks great. Yeah, there were, uh, yeah. There's a lack of focus in Wrath of Cortex. It could have been something great, but because there's so many different publishers involved and so many different systems and like they wanted to get the graphics done, but then they also wanted to do the fucking um. Oh, there's so much shit. You know the more linear, um, you know classic crash levels, and of course now like. Wonder, like, is it an open world crash game? How are we you got the belly flop confirmed. Kind of the, the old style of game slide is certainly not broken. We love it versus the tendency to do you know new styles of gameplay based on the trailer. It looks like you're being kind of still faithful. Yeah, this to looks great. The original style of crash versus making it some big you know 3D open world. But is that correct? Like, how did you thank you? So okay, Jeff has just explained exactly yeah, what I was saying with like right. with Twin Sanity. Mm -hmm. you've, you're trying to you're trying to yeah, nail the gameplay style, style of Crash that everybody knows him for, without going too far with it and making a mediocre, massive world, which lots of people would argue Twin Sanity kind of does. You're totally right. They've gone to a place where they're a little bit more open. I don't think I think Twin Sanity is good. I don't think it's mediocre, but I see what they're saying. I completely get what they mean. I'm hoping that the gravity controls work with like they don't reverse the controls. I hope that they they work um, naturally, like they're an extension to your movement and flow. And it's focused, and it's really the streams of hazards and the challenges, the platforming challenges. They come and they're, there's almost a rhythmic quality to it. And yeah, that's why I like Crash, it. yes. And I know that for me, when I learn a level and I understand the nuance of the timing and the placement of all the different hazards, you can enter into a, a sort of flow state uh, when you understand that kind of musicality. Multiple playable characters. Uh... How are you doing that? Is it kind of like by level? But yeah, no, that's that's what he's he's right about that because like they they want to try and get back to this is what Sonic should do. Go back. That's why Mania was so fucking great. Going back to not back to basics, but doing what they know works, and then refining that to fuck. That's what they should be doing with this game. Not trying to make an open world like Twin Sanity again. Not trying to like push the envelope and please everybody and make it seem like look guys it's a brand new like wrath of cortex wrath of cortex reeks of multiple um company meddling and it reeks of um like oh yeah it's not the same as the ps1 games guys we promise it's ps2 look we got all these new vehicles we got all these new graphics we got all these new physics we got all these new things you can do it tries too hard wrath of cortex and it ends up mediocre and people would argue that twin sanity does the same thing platforms and he can choose between this doesn't scream development stack, hell this doesn't scream multiple publishers or pulling the chains of each direction of where it should be going um it doesn't scream of multiple investors trying to put their own brand on it it, it, it seems focused it seems direct it seems like what everybody wants i'm happy with that thank you o9 havoc worm for the um oh cf cefg 100 is hosting with five spin lee johnny thank you so much o9 havoc worm three dollar donation i love the art style i think it's the same artist as Spyro Reignited. I heard Raz's voice from Psychonauts. Wow. Weird. It, it seems but yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, it's Toys for Bob, so yeah, yeah, it will be Spyro, yeah. The, the masks. How, how do those... But that was a remake. That wasn't original content. So this is why I'm a bit worried. There's four of them in this game. So there's four extra masks. They're, sprinkled, they're scattered across the universe. We're going to have to rescue them from certain the clutches of certain bosses, both familiar and new. Um, the quantum mask, two of them that we're talking about today, is the time mask and gravity mask. And masks yep. in this franchise is the gravi was the gravity mask um, suit teased in Crash Team Racing and their own powers. in Nitro Fueled so because that was one of the first costumes I remember getting for that game. Is and when Crash uh, uses Kapunawa, he's got the ability to slow down time to a crawl. So for obstacles that are beyond, just way too fast to interface with. At normal speeds, he's going to be able to slow things down and then get past those obstacles. And 
An, in addition bit to of that, Mega Man 11 there, okay. Nitro crates, which have traditionally been a one-hit, one-kill type of thing. But with the power of time, you're going to be able to slow things down, trigger that explosive, and then get oh, out just get out just in time. So you can jump on the Nitro boxes before they explode. The, um, That's a way the, fucking better way of doing it than the stupid bloody sneaking thing they do in Wrath of Cortex. Because that's so situational, but that you could use that in multiple situations for multiple shortcuts, for time trials. That's a great idea. New new challenges, different ways to get around the same hazards like the old games like to do. Different shortcuts you can take. The weight looks good. It looks like he has presence. With the remasters, but to, uh, oh, this is very Ratchet and Clank. Game, okay. Is what everyone was hoping for, and, uh, this looks like a natural life, extension so, uh, while keeping true to what makes Crash great in this, the first place. Thanks for doing it even from a work from home situation. Uh, Whereas um, uh, Wrath of awesome Cortex was like an extension and, to, uh, and basically yeah, nothing sure. else. It felt it felt thanks like it, me. It's a great it didn't feel like a true return to form. It felt like, games. hey, remember these games? It's well, well yeah, they're old. So here's all this new stuff. But we'll have a few old things in there just to remind you. And this doesn't feel like that. This, this feels like, hey, remember the old stuff? The old stuff fucking rocks. Here's the old stuff again, but here's new visuals. Here's new controls. Here's new this. Here's new that. You just have to, You just need the base game and just need to blossom around it. That's all you need to do. That's what Sonic Mania does. He is joining us from lockdown, and I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Alf. Alf, uh, how is your lockdown going? So, you want to talk lockdown? I, I'll give you lockdown. yeah, I, Alf means nothing to me because Alf was, have you, did you ever see Alf on TV, honey? Well, it, no, but I mean, did you ever see Alf in this country? I don't think Alf is a UK recognized thing at all. I've never seen anything to do with him. Clean off all the fur. From your controller I think he's quite sweet. I like him. Because there's nothing worse than getting your analog sticks jammed up with hair. Okay? That's a good one. Tip two. Oh, Rhiannon doesn't know what that is. What on earth? <laughs> yeah, that's Alf. Alien life form. ALF. Bad idea. I know of him. I have never seen an episode of his show or anything. Don't play Warzone with E.T. All right? He cheats. He's a sore loser. And he doesn't know... How to use airstrikes. Just doesn't understand it. Okay. Confirmed, E.T. doesn't know how to use airstrikes in Warzone. Oh yes, I'm also drinking Pepsi from a, a wine glass, because that's all we've got in the cupboard right now. I'm sophisticated, bitch. A whole day of the devs thing still to go. We are certainly not done yet. Oh, I think you've been done ever since that Dorito segment. Can I get some Eps in chat for Kaylee's career? It's Keely, not Kaylee. Oh, guys, don't... Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Alf just said, can we get some Fs in chat? Alf just said, can we get some Fs in chat? F. A-L-F. Alf. In chat. I don't know. It's just... It's... So is that it? I don't know what this is. Are we done? This world is in trouble. Uh, I don't know what... I... 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 Need or help. If there's no more crash shit, I I don't I'm I'm not gonna keep going. Um, thank you so much for the donation, um, Toasty do, um, Dos Five Five Dollar Donation. Thank you so much. Um, um, so I seem to be the only person for whom Wrath of Cortex is their favorite crash game. I even like the flight stages. Also, do you use CRT televisions for your classic games? No, I do not. I use my 4K 52 inch. Um, I use an OSSC um upscaler. I found the quality to be amazingly better for older games. Um, for 240p 480i content, maybe. But like, I need to be able to record it. I can't do that on a CRT TV. I haven't got anywhere to place a CRT TV. And like for streaming, it's not going to work. Basically, CRTs don't work for me. An OSSC, is, it makes them look HD. I don't need a fucking CRT. But thank you so much. Um, Jontis, 50 bits. Thank you so much. So on a scale of Banuka, that... <laughs> Banuka that Veruca to cure that cortex. How excited are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think that looks fucking great. I don't, I don't get what anyone's complaining about. I, I, I think if you, if you're, if you, I, I really don't get it. You can dislike it if you want. Whatever. I think that looks great. I'm excited for that. After ever, after the meandering, after the fucking weird Crash of the Titans, Mind of a Mutant shit. I think that looks great. I, I that's what I wanted for ever since. That's what that's what I wanted them to do after Twin Sanity. To be completely honest, I didn't want tag team racing. I, I wasn't massively um, impressed with Wrath of Cortex. I liked it enough back when I was a kid, but I, I wanted them to kind of fix a lot of that. And this seems to be the kind of love letter that everyone wanted to see. 
100 bits here from Jacob McBaggins. Bringing in Alf out of absolutely nowhere feels like a complete crash move. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's. I was just gonna say that. Like, if you like Alf or not, it doesn't matter. It's a crash stream, so, you know, whatever. Um, ah, oh, dearie me. Oh, um, DLC225, 50 bit here. Thank you so much. I think the only character that looks a bit weird is not, is um, Cortex, but everything else looks awesome and amazing. Cortex looked like... Cortex looked like... Yeah, yeah, no, I was going to say, he looks a bit rounder and thinner. Like, he looks a bit more... Like, he doesn't look as chiseled, but he looks like Cortex. Like, he looks fine. I I, I mean, I, that's great. I, I you, you can you can say he do, you don't like the way he looks. That's totally fine. That's, that's your call. I don't get it. He looks like Cortex. He just looks like Cortex in a Spyro Reignited art style. I don't know how else he would have been done. Um, he could have been done in the other ways where they, you know, don't make his hair look crazy and everything. And as long as he's got a good voice, that's all I care about, really. But that's awesome. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, Kazman Dude, 100 bits. What do you use to capture GameCube games? My guess is Wii with component cables. Absolutely not. I use my actual GameCube plugged into my OSSC with official Nintendo... Um, um, composite. No, what's com what's what's the one that's like 720p component? Composite's the red, yellow, and white, isn't it? Yeah, component cables. Which um, I'm very lucky to have those cables because they're very rare. But yeah, they're plugged into my OSSC, and it makes the games look and run phenomenally. You can see it in the DreamWorks video. That's that's what I'm working with. So yeah, um, blah 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 blah. Oh nine havoc worm, hundred bits. Thank you so much. Crash four looks amazing. Can't wait. Um, Creative Welshman, 100 bits. Crash died with the Titan games. Glad he's getting a revival. So am I. So am I. Oh, Kura, um, Kura 75 says it's Lex Lang. Well, then that's all we need to know then. Lex Lang is the voice of Cortex, so that's all good. Yeah, so that's component. Yeah, I'm using the official GameCube, n the Nintendo GameCube component cables, which only are compatible with that particular thing. Like, that's it. The, 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 there's, the, there is only you can't use third party component cables on a GameCube you can only use the Nintendo official ones and even if you do manage to find some like third party ones they look like shit anyway um, so you can you can use multiple SCAR and multiple um, composite but component cables for GameCube are notoriously difficult to get handle, to get hold of and I just so happen to have one so I'm very happy about that Ooh. oh hey, um, Heather's in, Heather from Magfest is in here hey how's it going Oh, Keris is saying, hey, Heather. Ah, oh, dearie me. Oh, we've had a resubscription from J-Man Crew. Thank you so much. Um, DTL, $2.10 donation. I'm so sorry, but the new art style isn't doing it for me. Gameplay on the other hand is top. Cool, fine. The, the, the thing is, like, it's it's a video game, you know? I mean, people are here to watch me react and ask for my opinions. My opinions, I think it looks fucking great. It looks like a natural evolution. It looks like a good idea for the art style that they're going for. If they would, if they put those designs into insane art style, it would look really out of place and weird and terrible. But in this universe, I think it looks great. If you don't think so, great, cool. Who who cares? It's a fuck. It's fucking Crash Bandicoot. Why do people get so upset? <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's a it's a children's it's a family friendly children's platforming game from the PS One era, <laughs> with a, with a bandicoot that doesn't talk. It's a, who is it? Apart from, when he, a, apart from when he not when yeah he really yeah true, and then he knocks on your door with his um weird like man thong with a boner sticking through it um <laughs> on his nose and um yeah. Um, I'm surprised it's coming out so soon. Still excited. I think they've been working on it for quite a while. Thank you for the, um, 50 bits. Cordell, 1603. Monty Bojangles, 100 bits. Roll on 2nd of October. Absolutely. Hewlett fan, 50 bits. I'm personally really happy with the reveal trailer. Perfectly combining the classic levels with slightly modern twist. Also love the art style. Don't get why some people bitching. Also, do you hope they'll have, um, Twin Sanity style overworld for this? An overworld would be cool. Um, if, as long as there's shit to do in it, I'm not against the idea. I don't think they will, though. If they're sticking with what makes Crash the unique 3D corridor platforming series it is in the first place. I doubt it. But then if they get this right, we know Toys for Bob can um, translate a PS1 slightly more open world platformer like Spyro. We know they can translate that into HD. They've had experience with designing and recrafting worlds like that. So, I mean, it's not out of the realm of impossibility for Toys for Bob to um, go in for a Twin Sanity remake or a Twin Sanity follow-up. I mean, that's not impossible, right? But then in Japan, Twin Sanity is known as Crash 5, so it's like, that's a mainline game, so, like, would it be Twin Sanity 2, or would it be Crash 5, or would it be Crash, like, 7 or 8 because of Mind Over Mutant and Titans? Who fucking knows, but... Oh, dearie me. Um, yeah, but that was fine. That was fun. I liked that. So we, we, we've let, okay, we've let this, um, we've let this, um, buffer a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do, for anyone that's, um, um, 
I, I saw a couple of people in the chat saying that they missed the announcement entirely. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back for you and we'll just re-watch the trailer again. We'll see. Do you know what? Let's actually... um. No CTR for PS3 says Ka um, Kim um, Kimari97810. Yeah, I I'm really hoping they do that because I want to play that game at 60 FPS desperately. That would be it. CB tutorial. Don't worry, you say you're too late. We are about to watch it back right now. Don't worry about it. I think it would be cool to watch it back and um, reevaluate re what we're seeing. Maybe pause a couple of places and um, get what get yeah see what we. Jesus, that's a that's a fucking freeze frame. <laughs> If that thing was at your door, where's my gun? Four dollar donation, Bungie the Orangutan. I think it looks fantastic. Haven't been able to get into Crash of the Titans. Haven't touched Mind Over Mutant yet. So watching this has made me super excited. It's old school Crash mixed in with some new features. I like it. That's all that Wrath of Cortex needed to be, in, as far as I'm concerned. But it tried to do too much. It tried to be too much of a gap. Like the the the, the change in the art style with the graphics was enough to turn people off. And then they were like, well, it's not just an art style change. We're gonna have a million vehicles in, and we're not just gonna have a million, a million vehicles in. We're gonna have much bigger levels. But the bigger levels with corridor platforming means that you can walk around all the fucking enemies and they can't do anything to you it just tries too much and it, it's it's it screams early ps2 it screams we've got all this technology but we don't know how to do anything like to do with the space that we have yet so they just overcompensate and made everything too big um whereas with the original games they were stay they were corridor linear platformers mostly because they were um they they were limited not because i mean it was oh, clearly it must have been a design choice at some point but it was more limitations of the ps1 than anything else Whereas with the Wrath of Cortex, it was, we've got too much to work with. It turns out that the linear corridor platformer thing might not work <laughs> with the amount of space we've got. So let's just make the levels extra big and everyone will think that this is a bigger and more impressive game. Which, for Crash, not necessarily true. Carmen Rider Decade 8724 bits. Just wanted to show my support for suffering through the worst of Phoenix games so we don't have to. From um, Titusville, Florida, is that? Titus FL, is that Florida? Florida? Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I don't know all the states and like all the the abbreviations yet. But thank you so much for the 100 bits. 500 bits from the classy one. Thank you so much. Hey, Kelly, been watching since Rascal Races, if you can believe it. No, I fucking can't. If you if you watch that Rascal Races video and decided to hit subscribe, then you're a brave, brave person. Super hyped for Crash 4. I think it'd be cool if you could review some Crash knockoffs like Eminem's Shell Shocked. Wondering what you'd think Crash would make it into Smash Bros. Ultimate be cool i mean i haven't touched ultimate for a long time but ultimate's great as it is if crash is in it great if not not gonna be the end of the world it's fine but yeah let's go um let's 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 just watch this through again i'll get my mouse on the play button k okay so we can pause at different moments with k that's good does it work yeah k okay okay let's have a look at this so we're gonna go frame by frame <laughs> No, we're just no. I don't think there's anything I can really say about this here. Um, there are spirits there coming out of a, a face in the in the earth, like a volcano. So, what do we think this means? I don't. I don't know. If this is following on from after Crash Three, Cortex, Trophy, and Uka Uka have gone back in time, and yet Cortex is an adult here. So maybe this is another time portal fucking thing. I don't know. Um, Dank Blue Haze, 100 bits. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, Caddy, cheers from Australia. I've been watching since literally Crash and Bash and been following ever since. Love the content and random as hell, but I'm wondering if you've ever heard of Skull Monkeys. I have, haven't played it. Massive game from my childhood was a game that I 100% claymation, so just seeing it, um, if you've checked out this game before it, um, called ne Neverhood. No, I, I have heard of Never. I've... I've seen Jordan Underneath's video on it. I don't need to play the game. I like the way he's described it. That gave me the same experience I would have got if I played it. So um, I I don't think I'll get there. But thank you so much either way. Good. This looks great. Just this whole bit here, because this doesn't own. This isn't only thank like. Oh, thank you, Classy One, for the gifted subs. Very kind of you. Um, yeah, this isn't only li like linear corridor platforming, but it looks compact and dense and challenging there's a lot of shit going on in this very small area which is reminding me of crash one which i the challenge of crash one i'm more than happy to have with the power-ups and everything the yeah where are the graves honey I don't know. oh uh, fat gaming guy 50 bits thank you so much sorry if you've already spoke about this but how do you feel about the 60 pound crash um the 60 pound price um for crash 4 if it's worth it, it's worth it. I mean, the original trilogy was fucking £50 on the PS1 back in the UK when they first came out. That's I don't see a problem with that. 
Um, whether or not it's worth the price is another thing, but then you could say that about any modern game if it's new or not. Hmm. Um, okay, so just more linear platforming here. I'm not seeing anything that's grabbing me. That thing's horrifying. Um, it's just an enemy. I see an Aku... We didn't see Aku Aku following us, but I see an Aku Aku crate back there. So he is still in the game. He is still the hit point system. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in a crate. So there you go. Oh, okay. One chop animation. All right, thank you for the 50 bits, Ben. Very kind. According to the Kotaku article, it takes Cortex and company 20 years to escape from the distant planet they end up on. So they're basically in their 20s. Wow, okay. So he's a, so they're still so Cortex is young, right? So hmm, interesting. So he's not the old bitter, well I mean he'll still be bitter, but you know what I mean. But will he remember Crash if he's gone back in time though? Hmm, interesting. And does that mean Crash is now an old man? Is he is it like a fucking old snake thing in Metal Gear Solid 4 has been called out of retirement to to sort this problem out? I mean Co Coco looks older, so I guess that makes sense. David RRC, 500 bits. Thank you so much. I prefer the insane design, but it looks all right. I don't think they could use the insane design purely because that's a vicarious visions thing now. Um, but then the, the insane designs were in CTR, which was fucking Beanox. I don't know. But yeah, no, I, I, I think I, I, I think I prefer the insane look, but I still think this looks great. So um, in the end, though, I'm hyped for this. Um, cool. By the way, um, it was your birthday a couple of days ago. Happy freaking birthday to you. Thank you so much. Toasty Dos 5, one dollar donation. I'm in Australia and those GameCube cables cost more than my car here. <laughs> they're not cheap. I know they're rare. I don't know how rare they are in Australia. I, I guess they must be pretty rare then if they're that expensive. Mine weren't that expensive at all, but they are pretty, they're not cheap. Um, forgot to say in the last message, um, thanks for all the years of entertainment. You got me to explore the PS1 library, which I'd written off for years. I'm glad. PS1 is not underrated, but it, it's, there are some gems in there that nobody ever talks about because Nintendo dominate, dominated everything back then, didn't they? Will you be pre-ordering Crash 4 immediately, or will you be getting a review code from the developers? Asks LB the Reactor. 50 bit cheer, thank you so much. Um, I mean, if if they're willing to give me one, I'm happy about that. Um, I'm I I never ask. I mean, that if people want to give them to me, then they'll give them to me. Um, so yeah, that would be awesome. But I might just get it for the shelf anyway. I mean, it's Crash history. I've got to have it. Um. We have had a 50-bit cheer from Tyler Tylerson. What up, dude? Saw you at too many games a few years ago. Hey, how's it going? That was a great panel. Hope to see you back sometime. Thanks for what you do, my guy. Happy freaking belated birthday. Oh, boo, says Scarf. Ah, you scared me. Um, He has resub. Thank you so much, Scarf, for the resub. Um, Hope you're doing all right. Ocean's Blue for the win has also subscribed. Very, very kind of you. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. You are being too nice. Anyway, we have been looking at this face for far too long. We need to move on. Jeez, look at all these fucking obstacles and everything. There's so much shit going on. This is like what you'd expect to see at the ending of... This is like a death route, but it looks normal. Unless this is a death route. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't have death routes anymore. But this is the kind of challenge I want to see a natural... I want to see the natural building up of challenge towards the end of the game. Make, make, the, make the final encounters feel more tense. Because that's one thing... You can say that the bosses don't ever feel... Like the, uh, the final bosses don't feel like a good send-off for the end of the original trilogy. Like Crash... 2's final boss especially um but if you can keep the challenge building up like this and then have a great boss at the end to wrap it all up together then that's good with me because that's the thing like i think sometimes um the challenge of the platforming levels towards the ends of the games aside from crash one they never match up to the final bosses so i i get the feeling that they they work on all the levels first and then do the bosses afterwards is my guess and then they're like Oh shit! Well, we've done all. So then they might. So then they realise that the the final bosses with Cortex might not be that crazy or that difficult. So then they start taking things out of the final level so that the the jump from um difficulty in the levels to difficulty in the bosses isn't quite as noticeable. That's a th random theory, but I'm just hoping that if they can keep this kind of compact, challenging level design up for the normal game, that the then and then have a boss level that follows up from it that's really really damn good then and really challenging then that would be a nice um bow on the um, a ribbon on the cake rib what the fuck am i saying cherry on the cake bow on the present yeah but i'm talking i'm talking as as we're looking at it i'm talking as we that's what that's what this is about we're stopping and starting so just then we saw um cortex in no we don't want you again wait we'll just fuck it So he does remember, we are in a 
yeah, we're we're in like a warp room. So that's uh, we're definitely in a warp room. He's talking to us through the center like in Crash 2. Um, for young Cortex, he looks great in this art style, I think. He doesn't look like a weird alien like he does in the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, he still looks old with the receding hairline, but with this art style, that, that like you can't, you can't do it any better than that, I think. He still has the proportions correct. He still has the hair correct. He still has the right ears, the right eye shape, the, the goatee. He has everything that he needs. So, yeah, that's as good as we're going to get, I think. Um... Oh dear, Taser9001, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Just watched the trailer, loving the look of the levels and gameplay, but I prefer the insane art style. I'm also interested in how past characters tie in, as one particular line seems to retcon um, Wrath of Cortex onwards. I think most... I think we're already retconning Wrath of Cortex, because in Japan, Wrath of Cortex is Crash 4, and Crash 5 is Twin Sanity in Japan, so we're already retconning, it, we're retconning all of those games by having this be Crash 4 officially, so... Who knows? DLC um, 225, 50 bits. I think it'd be awesome if they had Death Roots. That would be a true continuation of the original games. Yeah, and then they could be like extra, extra challenging because there are people that think that the challenge of the original games is still not that high. So we'll see. Free Bread Boy has subscribed. Thank you so much. But if those like weird gauntlet looking things are what we're looking to expect in the standard game, then Jesus Christ, we can only hope that the bosses live up to that level of challenge, like a proper, a proper climactic kind of a nice difficulty curve like start off with levels like the beginning of crash 3 kind of easy you know like the medieval levels and the swimming or the fuck yeah you know the tiger and everything the 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 first um dynamite not dynamite um boneyard the first dinosaur level have those have those kinds of levels to start off with and then start bringing in like crash 2 kind of difficulty then like crash 2 and crash 1 kind of difficulty for the middle game and then do your own original crazy difficulty and you haven't got the old games to go off of, so make your own bosses and make them make them match the difficulty curve, because that's one thing that Crash doesn't have over other platformers. Maybe except for Bowser's fights in Mario 64. They're pretty shit, but, you know. <laughs> he looks great. I don't... I don't see what the problem is. He looks good. He looks... The only, the only thing I can say that looks massively different is the fact that his head isn't as squared off. But if he's younger and it's a different art style, this is as th he looks good. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But you know, whatever. Each, each again, each their own. If you don't like it, great. I'm just saying I don't get it. Um, classy one, five hundred bits. I know it's cheeky, but can you give us a sneak preview of what else is coming in Bandicoot month? Mm, apart from CTR streams after I've done The Last of Us two. Um, <sighs> no, I won't. There's one more video planned, um, but I want to keep all of that shit a secret, so sorry. I'll just say, um, um, there might be, um, I'm trying to think of a way I can, no, okay, no, uh, Karis is saying I shouldn't, okay. Um, Duncan Bull Buller Hayes, 100 bits, thank you so much. I've been watching 100% playthroughs and they're amazing seeing you and your shortcuts, plus the screw-ups are funny. <laughs> I've played them a million times and just because I know the shortcuts and I know how to get away things, I know how to platinum relic every fucking level, doesn't mean they're not easy. I screw up. Thank you so much. Okay, so we can, we can go back into different time periods. So this is like Crash 3. Yeah, we're like, we're like grinding on rails. He's cute here. This is a very weird camera angle, though. This doesn't show off the design that well. I think because they've stabilized the camera on his face, it... He, it, no belly button, he doesn't have a belly button, no. But, like, because they stabilized the camera on his nose, it's a very uncanny movement, and I think that's, I think that's what's putting a lot of people off. Because even though, if at a standstill, it looks fine, stabilizing on his nose... Oh, shit. Yeah, stab stabilizing on his nose doesn't look particularly good. Cause it, cause it, 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 it just looks like uncanny movement. Oh dear! Oh no! It's because it's not one. Yeah, that's just it's just uncanny movement. That it that doesn't give the art style or the character model any kind of grace at all. That's a really weird way to show it off. Um, we've had a hundred bits from Penance or Penance. Sorry, Penance. Sorry. <laughs> Penis ants, sorry. Penance 93, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Hey, Caddy, glad to finally catch you live. Not sure when I started watching, but it was the Odd World Retrospectives that did it, lol. You're going to be streaming them from at some point. Love from the North, man. Ah, oh, I love the North. I love the North. Thank you so much. Um, I will be at some point. I got an Odd World video planned at some point as well, but I need to redo my video style of that. I've like, I've already done 
yeah, whatever. Alice of Wonderland, 90 bits. Have all of my bits. Thank you so much for your bits. I, I appreciate every bit that is in my face. Okay, well, that was a bit I didn't need to see in my face. Um, crashes open legs. This looks so good. I mean, apparently this is, this is according to YouTube, this is 1080p 60 FPS. I don't think this is very, <laughs> this is very compressed to 1080p. Um, probably because I'm streaming it, so it might not look that great anyway, but, like, this is what Wrath of Cortex should have done, and this is what the Insane Trilogy does really well. It's the fact that they've got the technology to make expansive and giant detailed levels, but then they made the platforming extend into the areas where you shouldn't be able to go. That's what Wrath of Cortex does. They made the actual level designs too wide, where this looks like compact, condensed, corridor, linear design, but just with tons of detail all around you to make you feel like you're properly in the world. Um, and I suppose while we're here, we have got a butt, haven't we? Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Um, I mean, it's, it's small, but then it, it also... If you look, it is also a little bit rounded. What would he look like without his trousers? Without his trousers, he probably... I mean, I've always said I've always said he'd look like a kite without his trousers. He would look like a kite. Spyrofan1144, 50-bit cheer. This game looks like a compilation of each Crash game and more. Yeah, you're right, absolutely. It's got, like, the size and the scale of Wrath of Cortex. It's got the impressive graphics and animations of Insane. It's got... The corridor, um, the corridor level design that we all know and love. It might have a few vehicles in there. We haven't seen any vehicles um, from Crash 3, so I'm just guessing. It might have the time trials from Crash 3. It has the power-up kind of system from Crash 3. Um, but it's got, it looks like it's going to have the challenge and the um, the precision of Crash 1 and 2 style um, gameplay. It's, got, it's kind of a mix of everything. Uh, Penance 93, 100 bits. Penance, ha ha ha. That's worth another 100 just for the laugh it gave me. Thank you so much. Sorry for getting that wrong. Amy Campbell, oh, oh, 100 bit cheer. Thank you so much. Hey, Callie, been, I've watched your stuff for a few years now. I wanted to thank you for what you do. Your videos never fail to make me laugh, and the crash streams have really helped me through my mood in quarantine. I'm glad. Thank you. Keep up the amazing work. Also, Cortex and Engine look amazing here. The new designs are great. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, this is like this just this. It's like it's like taking Spyro and oh, no, we have got vehicles. Yeah. So this is like Crash 2, obviously. Looks like you should be able to maybe there'd be a few secrets jumping up onto those sides of the level there. We haven't seen any... Can we get rid of this stupid setting? Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, everybody. Can we get rid of this stupid setting here? Move, mouse, for fuck's sake. We haven't seen Aku Aku in the flesh, but the... Yeah, there's crates, but there's no actual Aku Aku that we've seen so far. Slow down power looks great. I mean, just... Okay, just, it's moving too quickly, but these... These worlds look so goddamn good. It's an underwater stage, but with platforms. So... For the people that don't like the swimming stages in Crash 3, it doesn't matter. Here they are, but there's platforms in them. So does that mean we're going to be like in a diving suit and we're going to move a little bit like anti-grav? We're going to be like a bit floaty, do higher jumps, maybe move a bit slower? That would be cool. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah, we've got chase sequences. Another dinosaur. So that's a Crash 3 thing they've taken there. See, look, that. That is a fucking great... Yeah, the belly... He needs the belly button, doesn't he? Look at the fur coming out of his glove on his on his on on the back of his hand. That's really good detail for for shell shading for sh shell shading for cell shading as well. That looks great, but that that is a much better reveal of the design of Crash for this game than that stupid weird running animation with the camera stabilized on his nose. That's it's a little bit more like an actual bandicoot. Yeah, he looks more like an actual bandicoot. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. But a bit. Ratchet Extreme Six Fifty Bit Cheer. Um, getting some Ratchet and Clank vibes out of this, wouldn't you agree? Yes, you're right. Absolutely. It does look like that, but it doesn't look like it's taking the Ratchet and Clank approach to level design, which is what I didn't want from Crash, so that's fine with me. Um, anyway, let's continue. Do you think his chin goes into his stomach? Do you think his chin... Yeah, he's just got one giant peck. I made that joke in my last... Yeah, he's just one... Yeah, in my last video, I said, like, how is he moving so slow on the Wrath of Cortex monkey bars? Because his whole body is just one giant peck. He's just one giant, like, he's just one nipple. Um, anyway, so yeah, we've got another Cortex shot here with the volcano. With the, So we've got the prehistoric world, we've got the future world, we've got the Chinese world back, because there, there was a dragon back here somewhere. We've got the underwater levels. Okay, we, so, come on, you stupid stream. Yeah, we've got space level here. We've got the jungle levels, that's classic. Future, right, we've got a future level. We've got Chinese level. Do you know what I'm seeing a pattern with here? We've got prehistoric, we've got future, we've got Chinese, we've got, um, um, there were, I think there was something else as well that I could use. 
I don't know what that was. Underwater. So we got already four styles of world directly taken from Crash 3. Directly. Um, and people would say, what, what, what Chinese levels are you talk? Yeah, the, the, the ones with the tiger. They are the Chinese stages. The, the Great Wall of China. So there you go. Um, oh, might want to try the... Oh, Sorry, Ben is saying might want to try the PlayStation Crash Bandicoot YouTube pages for the full HD 60 FPS trailer. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, okay, look, why don't we do that then? That's a good idea. Okay, um, wait a second. I just need to find what I'm doing. So, okay, so actually, should we just see if, if we've missed anything in this in the rest of this stream? Oh, there's Alf again. Um, so there was, um, yeah, the developer interview there, Alf. Guy, guy, hanging up his pants. What's going on here? A lot of cool games today. Oh, it's Tim Schafer. What's he doing? Weird. Another Psychonauts thing has come back. This is getting weird now. This is a child's skull. This is a good place to stop. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to see the child's skull. Thank you, Tim. What's in your What's in your garden? What's this? Oh my god, is it snake fencing? Is it snake jousting? <laughs> Look at that! Next up is Friday. Yes, I'm, I'm, that, that game is mine. This looks cool. Okay, I know this is a crash, a crash stream, sorry. I, I, won't, I won't stay on these. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just checking if we've missed anything else crash related. This looks like... Johnny Galvatron from Beethoven and the Dinosaur. That is a great name for a studio. Wow. Playing guitar to light up the world around you. Fuck. Francis uses a I like this. Okay, all right. Let's see what else we've got. What's this? Um, oh, it's a gun. We haven't got enough of them, have we? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, sprite work. Oh, shit. This looks nice. Holy shit, this... This sprite work is so good, it almost looks like low-res character models. It looks like pixelated 3D models, the sprite work is so good. Maybe it is. Maybe they've cheated it. Yep, I'm, I mean, I just need to see that. I'm getting that shit. I'm getting that shit. Wait a minute. What else is there? Was that Oddworld just then? That reminded me of Paramonia just then. Yeah, that's like Paramonian Temple kind of color scheme. Yeah, this all looks good. What's this? Jeez. Yeah, when our ecosystem dies, just make another one. <laughs> this looks cool. Spinch flesh. Spinch, you're a spinch. This looks really goddamn cool. People always say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up of pixelated... People like to say that they're fed up of, like, pixelated art styles. You can do so much with it. Look how cool this looks. The isometric style um, of pixel art is really cool. This is like... It's like isometric pixel art Katamari kind of shit. You look weirder than the game. Okay, let's move on. Sorry, that was a joke. <laughs> Mayor of Hair Bear subscribed. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, Penance93 subscribed. Thank you, Penance. Um, Hibbet subscribed. Thank you so much. This looks really weird. Um, anything else we're missing here? <gasps> Is that Skate 4? Is that fucking Skate 4? Wait a sec. Sorry, guys. We'll get back to Crash in a second. But it gets weird. It gets real weird. You'll see what I mean. Hi, I'm Sam May. I'm a game developer here in New York City. And I'm making Skate Story. Oh, Skate Story. Okay, right. It's an indie game. Skating down into the underworld. Wow. Last skater try to reach the center of the underworld. Okay, it looks like there's a stick system just like in Skate. Yeah, glass skate. Well, I guess that's the idea. Don't break. Ah, oh, so it's a little bit more complex than Skate. Fucking hell. Okay. So your triggers control where your feet go. Fuck me. Okay. Oh god, Ollie will Ollie will geek over this. Yeah. You would have to be. A, you would have to at least know how the skate tricks work for this game to to make any sense. Otherwise, that is going to be a learning curve and a half. But hey, not every game should be made for everyone, right? I'm fine with that. Thank you, idiot jank. One dollar. Um, I'm poor. Have a dollar. Well then, keep. Then, don't feel like you have to give it away, then, dude. Thank you so much. 
Hello, I'm Vladimir Bilevsky from Marjoska, the studio behind Black Book. Um, okay, well, let's just catch up with the stream and see if there's anything else that might happen. Okay, I'm, I think it's safe to assume that we've, um... Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that we've we've done everything we can there, so... Let's, um, crash for... Trailer. Here we go. Sorry, honey? Oh, that... <laughs> Oh, this is 60 FPS. Oh, yeah, this is way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the thanks for the tip, Ben. Oh, God, we can go to 4K. Well, we're not going to do that because I don't want to kill the internet here. We'll go 10, 1080p, 60. Um, thank you for the 100 bits, Cobra Wolf. Um... Yeah, it's pronounced Cobra Wolf, by the way. Yeah, I, th I feel I thought I got that right. Greetings from the la gr Grantings, fuck's sake. I'm sorry. Greetings from the land down under, Caddy. First time catching one of your streams. Really looking forward to Crash 4. Art style looks pretty good. Been following you for a good few years now. Not sure how long. Must be off getting towards 2 a.m. Work in the morning and all that. Hope to catch you here again soon. P.S. Sorry about the stupidly long message. That was not a stupidly long message. And holy shit, thanks for coming down in Australian time. Jesus Christ. That was very kind of you. We, um, we've, we've died, everybody. I'm sorry. I think I'll, I'll, I'll um, refresh. Might fix the problem. Crash yes, that's his name. Yes, 1080p60. We're working now. It's not Clancy Brown. No, oh, Clancy Brown. Cl Clancy Brown stopped after Clancy Wrath of... Like yeah, he's a, he does a good job, Lex Lang. Yeah, no, Clancy Brown stopped after Wrath of Cortex. So he... he I, I think there was a, a contract dispute or something. Like, Universal owned Crash, and that meant they still owned him for the voice, and he didn't want to do it without Naughty Dog. I don't know what the story is. I'll have to ask him if I ever meet him. That'd be nice. It'd be cool to meet him. Oh, this looks way better. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for the suggestion. So he remembers. Well, that much is clear. That's a weird shot. That was a bad, bad shot to use for this trailer. The butt's nice and round, by the way. Yeah, we saw all of this shit. Where were, well, I was I was talking about the worlds, wasn't I? Okay, right. Wait a second. So yeah, future Chinese. I don't know what that was just then. That looked like some sort of like circus world, maybe. But look, we've got. We, if you look at the top there and the bottom of the screen, we've got crates on the floor, but we are still underwater. So I think there's going to be a diving suit. We can maybe do bigger, longer jumps, move a little bit slower, a bit floaty, you know. Um, Sable One, 200 bit cheer. Thank you so much. Um, and prehistoric. So, so I can see a theme running here, and the theme is not only is it um, we can play as Cortex. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so oh, thanks for the subscription, Punked Fish. So I think um, what we've got here, like I think we've got all these different themes that have been ripped straight out of Crash Three. So I'm gonna say that. They might be new worlds, but the time periods those worlds are in, I think, are going to be taken completely out of Crash 3. Because if this is a sequel to Crash 3, you know, Cortex and Trophy go back with Uka Ruka and back in time, then there's every, every, like, bit of evidence to suggest that Cortex has somehow figured out how to um, flip between the same time periods as you can do in Crash 3. But now you've got new ways to explore it, so now you don't need to rush on the back of a tiger through the Great Wall of China, now you can explore the complete surroundings around you. Now that I think about it, the first level in Wrath of Cortex that features Coco is, um, um, Chinese-inspired, or was it Japanese-inspired? I think it was Japanese-inspired, actually, now that I say that. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm culturally inept. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Um, Penance, uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Um, I got 300 bits for the stream, but for you, I'm going to jump off and, and continue streaming Abe's Exodus. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Good luck. Fucking hell. Um, Soulstorm trailer made me want to play it. Last part um, was mine, so now I'm heading to the vaults. Here's the last 100. Does a happy belated birthday. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. You too, and enjoy Exodus. It's my, one of my fucking favorite games ever. Um, Bungie the Aranatan, $1 donation. S A B C or D for the butt. Mmm. <sighs> For the butt. Well, Cortex's butt right there is looking rather perky. He's got some he's got some chunky ass thighs on him, hasn't he? Look at his look at them thighs. He is fucking thunder thighs. And his butt, I think I don't know if I don't know if the detail is No, he does. I think there's a line there. I think I can see a little line there. You might not be able to the, the, uh, from from my with my big TV, it looks like there's a little line there. Looks like they've sculpted it. 
So Cortex is getting an S. Um, Crash, I mean, the belly button's gone, um, which probably means if the belly button's gone, he probably doesn't have the same... Um, the same parts as he would have done in the other games, which suggests that he doesn't have as much of a bum as he did before. But it's still round. And he doesn't have the drawstring on his trousers. So he's got his yeah, he doesn't have the drawstring on his trousers. Yeah. So it's round enough where he doesn't need to tie up his trousers. So I'm going to give it a solid A for this time because we haven't quite seen enough of it. No, S, A, B, C or D. I'm rating it. We've been over this a million times. S is the best you can get. S is the best. Yes, S is the top tier. Yes. Why Keris doesn't understand this. Um, I, don't think, I, I think I don't know who started it. I think it was Sonic what that started. I don't know what S means. What does A mean? What does B C mean? What does C mean? Yeah, and S just means S tier, like the top, the cream of the crop. S is just the best. Yeah. Right. I think I don't know who started it. I think Sonic started it. Solid A. Solid A for solid arsehole. Um, classy one, 500 bits. Yeah, I'm not classy. You are, though. Sorry, I keep thinking of questions. It's cool. That's what We're just here to chat. Which, cri um, which Crash game... I'm I'm sorry. Which Crash game would you most like to be remade similarly to the Insane Trilogy? Also, greetings from Yorkshire. Thank you so much, Yorkshire. Um, probably Twin Sanity. I think that that game needs a second chance. and It needs to be, re it needs to be shaved off, redone... Everything that was supposed to be tried out, get rid of the fucking evil twins, do all that shit. There's a great game hiding in there. But yeah. Thank you for the 50 bits DLC. If you end up getting the game early, will you stream it before the general release? If I can, absolutely. fucking lootly. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to do with the video about it. I'm going to have to work something out. I'll work something out. I'll work something out. So Cortex can make platforms and move across them. Coco looks great. I, I love this look. This is this is really re it, it's like it's still it's still cute, but it's also like more more mature. You know, it's it's really it's a really cool look. It's a really cool. And she's still got the dungies. I mean, she's still got the dungies. She's precious. Yep, she's platformable. Does she play the same as Crashed? Is she a different style of gameplay entirely? Is she, is she like she is in Wrath of Cortex? Where she's a bit heavier and doesn't have the same abilities, but it's still nice to play as her? Or is it going to be an insane thing? Engine looks fucking great. He still has... That looks like a boss level for Engine, so he's given up on the whole guns thing and is now starting his own band. God, this, this is moving so quickly. Yeah, the whole selfie thing, people would cringe at that, you know, like with Sonic flossing in the Sonic movie, but again, I mean, Crash was fucking... He uses a yo-yo in Crash 3 in his idle animations, and yo-yos were all the shit in the late 90s. Um, he pulls out a Game Boy Advance um, if you leave him in his idle animation in the Game Boy Advance games. That's not out of the ordinary for Crash. I'm, I'm cool with it. He's always been a little bit of a kind of of-the-moment cool dude. If you if you watch the trailers for the original games, he's always been about rubbing rubbing his youthfulness into the face of Mario and everything and being like, hey, old man, hey, you fucking shave your moustache, you old bearded fuck. fuck. I'm, I'm now here. I'm Crash is here suck it you know um so classy one another 500 bits thank you so much i don't mind about the selfie at least he didn't dab <laughs> even if he did i wouldn't be surprised actually no because he would have to know what a dab was Ugh, i don't know so this is very ratchet and clank here and wall run is the wall run a power up or is it a contextual action it looked like a contextual action just then yeah prehistoric jungle again It's about wumping time. That implies that wump is a curse word, which is makes you maybe you're a mother wumper. Um, this looks like an ice world, maybe. So Crash Two worlds maybe coming into the into the frame here. Not sure. How many times? Okay, right. So this is definitely a warp roomy kind of area. The snowflakes. Really? Only three? Funny. Seemed like more. Okay, so they've they've acknowledged they've acknowledged that there's been um a bit of a weird um a weird history with Crash. It seems as though they're retconning quite a lot. But with the time travel thing, you can retcon whatever the hell you want, right? You could say that the beginning of this game, Wrath of Cortex was going to happen, and then Crash. They might be even they it might be they might make a joke about it. It might be like what with Deadpool two, like when he goes back and um stops him stops Ryan Reynolds himself from being Deadpool in was it X Men three or whatever it was when he shaves his. Um, oh no, uh, X Men Wolverine or X Men Origins? Which one? Whichever one it was with the fucking stupid um, 
Um, yeah, with the stupid, like, sewed up mouth on Deadpool. Um, but, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, it could be like that. They could start the game off um, like that and um, <laughs> um, have them, like, oh, Wrath of Cortex is about to happen. But then Wrath of Cortex wouldn't have happened because that implies that Cortex and Entropy got out of the time... Yeah, it must be an alternate timeline then. If we're if we're going to be taking a weird, weird ass like multi dimensional look at this, then that means that the, the the law of crash is getting too ridiculous for its own good. But yeah, it could be that one timeline cortex and entropy escape immediately and then start planning his wrath of cortex, and he brings all the old crash three bosses back together so that they can push and shove crash against the walls in the ball rolling stages and just be annoying and not actually be boss battles. Um. Which then also means that Crunch shouldn't be in this game because Crunch was born from Wrath of Cortex. So if we're ignoring Wrath of Cortex, but we're doing a multi-dimensional time traveling thing and we're being like, oh, it feels like we've beaten Cortex more times than that. But yet this is Crash 4. Then that says to me that Crunch hasn't even been hasn't been conceived. Or maybe this is before Wrath of Cortex. It could be an in-between game. Who fucking knows? Who knows? It's interesting to think about. Oh, dearie me. Oh, 70 bits from David RRC. Here's the rest of my bits for today. Until next time, looking forward to seeing your next vid. Enjoy the rest of your day. Much love. Thank you so much. I'll be streaming Last of Us 2 later tonight at 10 p.m. BST. Um, thank you so much. Bullshit time. Uh, bullshit time, yeah. Um, 50 bits from Spyrofan. Weird entropy wasn't in Crash Wrath of Cortex when it was seemed to fit into... He, he was. He was in Wrath of Cortex. He was. He just didn't do anything. He has one line at the beginning of the game in the first cutscene, and then he pops up in the ball rolling segments along with Dingadal and Tiny just like he just has like he just spits out like a few lasers from his fucking trident every so often and that's all he does and it's quite embarrassing um okay we got no pc release either that's a little bit of a disappointment because i mean insane pc is the only fucking way to play it nowadays xbox um it might be xbox it might be a smoother frame rate on the series x maybe ps4 though yeah cool whatever um, oh, Dave Man, 1997. Thank you for the f 500. But you guys are being too generous. Thank you. Hoping for the very best from this game, um, from one Crash fan to another. Yes, yeah, so am I. So am I. Um, very kind of you. Oh, um, Deadpool from X Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, I, I, I did say it. Um, Origins Wolverine. I just got very confused because there's X Men Wolverine. No, Wolverine, just Wolverine. Then there's X Men Origins Wolverine. Then there's X Men Three, which everyone fucking hates for the stupid same reasons. But yeah, if they do a joke like that, where like th they like they completely ignore the kind of rockier future of crash after the after the original trilogy and they um yeah they kind of go they gloss over the more turbulent mixed mixed reception quality kind of um zigzagging up and down roller coaster ride of his um career after that if they kind of make a little snap of that like they just did there that's cool with me i think that's i think that's pretty funny but then that also suggests that they they do they they are completely aware it might be, i don't know it could be just a silly fourth wall break i don't know i'm looking too deep into it nico pool 100 bits thank you so much um Beanox just tweeted that they are the support team for this time for crash 4 and the um nitro fuel track mega mix mines looks the same style as the wasteland looking levels in the trailer do you think rustland gp was secretly a teaser by Beanox? probably then if they're in on it then i wouldn't i wouldn't i, I wouldn't be surprised but hey, yeah, we've got these costumes as well. We'll talk about the costumes, and then I think I'll, I'll leave this up um, for today. But the, the, yeah, the crash on the left, I'm not sure about that. Um, not really my thing. But it's very... Um, would you say that was very extreme 90s, honey? Or would you see that to say that's just ridiculous? It's kind of 90s. Kind of 90s? Because that makes sense to me, because he's a 90s mascot. And again, look at the old promotional materials. Look at the old magazines. I think I showed a couple of the pictures of it. Like, there's, there's, there's images of Crash in his old like PS1 pre-rendered promotional artwork where he's dressed up in like a Beastie Boys outfit and he's got the long baggy baseball shirt and like he has like a fucking knuckle duster and he has a golden tooth and sunglasses and a back like a baseball cap. So I like so I don't again. If people are gonna complain about shit that like Crash wears. He's wor he's worn what he's worn worse. He's worn wo that is a difficult thing to say. But yeah, so I mean I don't like it, but then I don't like most of the shit he wore in the nineties as well, so I don't really care. Coco, on the other hand, looks fucking badass like that. I like the beanie, I like the, the slightly shorter haircut. I like the jeans. Um I feel so with it Yeah. She was a fan 
if, if Phoebe was abandoned, yeah, uh, she's even got the same kind of facial features. She's got the same like eye shape and the same kind of like lower half of the face. It is Phoebe Bandicoot. Yes, you're right. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's a pre-order thing. But I think I'll probably be pre-ordering anyway. No, we don't want to fucking watch Ant, dude. Fuck off, Ant. We don't want any of that. But um, don't want any of that. But anyway, Harpist 9, 90 bits. Thank you so much. Sorry if this was discussed earlier, but um, since I just joined in a few minutes ago, but since the game is priced with a full price, do you believe they're going to have lots of content in the game? Yeah, we did talk about this. As long as the game is worth its asking price, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to complain. Because um, what's there to complain about? I mean, it's like, again, the original games were not budget titles either. As long as it, as long as I feel like it was worth the price, does I don't care about the size of a game. As long as I feel like I got my money's worth, like I pay more money per month, probably going to see, well, I used to anyway. What before lockdown, I used to pay more money per month going to fucking um cinemas than I I did pl buying games per month, and I still feel like I got my money's worth with really good movies. And that's not an interactive thing. That's not a content heavy thing, you know, watching movies. So. I don't care about the length or the content as long as I feel like I got my money's worth. Um, I don't really mind. And again, the original trilogy were not budget titles. They were expensive when they first came out. Probably the same in terms of... Um, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Inflation. Yeah, in, like inflation. Um, it's probably the same. But um, yeah. Oh god, we've, got, we've had a load more bits. Sorry everybody. Um, Crack Wagon Jackson, I think that says. 300 bits, thank you so much. You should totally do a Crash Law video before launch if possible. <laughs> I think I'm just, that's, that, that's, that's just a gag. I, that's a one-off joke I could make, I suppose. I, 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 there's no law. It's, it's a platforming series. That's like making a Mario law. It's, it's a bit ridiculous. So no, I couldn't make a full video on that, but it is a fun, it's a funny thing to think about. Thanks for all the great content and help through the rough times. Keep being awesome. Thank you for the support. Classy one, another 500 bits. You are classy, jeez. I'm afraid I've got to go now, but I'll join you later for Last of Us 2. Hope you have a great day, and don't forget to stay beautiful. You too, thank you so much. 50 bits from DLC 225. Um, just hope after seeing the totally tubular skins, I hope there isn't loads like pay-to-win multiplayer stuff like what they did with CTR. It's a platformer, I fucking doubt it. I can't see that being a problem in the slightest. Even slightly. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not worried about that even a little bit, um, because there's nothing that they can monetize with that. I mean, they might be able to monetize some skins, but with all the costume changes and everything that there's going to be with the power ups and the masks in this game, you'd be wasting your money anyway. I don't think people would want to willingly put their money down because it's you'll be changing costumes all the time for your power ups anyway. So even if they did try and do that, I don't think they'd sell that many. Um, 95 bits from Fruit Lion. Um, thank you. Um, a shame that Crunch won't get his chance to shine just yet, but otherwise loving it so far. I mean, he's in CTR. He will be, he will be coming back. I'm pretty sure. Um, Proggy Froggy 96. 200 bits. Love this new crash design more than the insane one. Wow, I think you're one of the minorities there. I, I love it. I just, I just prefer the insane look, but that's awesome. That's good that, it's good that you like it. Kitty Girl, one dollar. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. Hey, Caddy. Looking to get into the crash series as the ones I started with were Wrath of Cortex and Nitro Kart. Damn. That's a bad way to get into into the series. As someone is mainly on PC, would you recommend getting a PlayStation to give the series a try? Get the Insane Trilogy on Steam, for fuck's sake. Do that. You can go back to the originals if you want to, but that will just make you realise... If you want to go back for the sake of nostalgia and the sake of seeing where the series started and for seeing how good linear corridor platformers on the PlayStation could be in the mid to late 90s, then by all means. But if you want the frustration of Crash 1 to not be a problem, if you want slightly more hints for the secrets in Crash 2 and Crash 3, if you want, well, without it without it rubbing in your face, must stress, you want the better visuals, you want 60 FPS, you want, like, all that fucking shit, and you want three games in one that are, like, 1080p, gorgeous 60 FPS, get the fucking Insane Trilogy on PC. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Absolutely do that. Morsi Doodle, 15 bits, thank you so much, and 250 bits from um, Chiz, Chiz Free, I think that says. Hey Caddy, first time watching a stream, been around since your Phoenix game reviews. Um, happy to see um, Crash get a new game instead of another remake, especially since that means Spyro is likely to get a new game too. If it's Toys for Bob, I wouldn't be surprised. That's what I'm hyped for, to be honest. Which would be interesting, because if you think about it, it's interesting you bring that up, because you have Crash 1, 2, and 3, and then, okay, CTR is on the side. But you have Crash 1, 2, and 3, and then PS2 rolls around, and you get Wrath of Cortex. Very mixed reception. Very mixed. 
you have Spyro 1, 2, and 3. And then you have Enter the Dragonfly, PS2. Uh, slightly early PS2 anyway. Mixed reception, if not terrible reception. So maybe Toys for Bob might do the same thing they're doing here and make a Spyro 4, which Enter the Dragonfly technically is, but they might do the same kind of retconning thing and acknowledge the future Spyro games that like dip and dive in quality and like peak and drop and have rocky kind of fucking multiple gameplay styles and everything. They might make a mention to it, but then do another retcon, multi-dimensional, here's the actual Spyro 4 you would have wanted instead of Enter the Dragonfly. They might do the same thing. It's Toys for Bob. They did the Reignited trilogy. Would not be surprised. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um, anyway, where are we? I've lost it. Oh yeah, by the way, in Deadpool 2, he goes back to kill Ryan Reynolds before he does the Green Lantern movie. Sorry, you're right. But he also, they do mention, they do mention the Deadpool thing with him slowing the mouth shut. They do mention that. You're right about the Green Lantern thing. You're right. Sorry, that was my mistake. But yeah, you're right about that. One dollar from 09 Havoc Worm. I think after this, I'm going to call it um, a night. I need to get back to work. But thank you so much, everybody. Hope you're enjoying The Last of Us 2. I'm enjoying it myself. But I don't get a masterpiece like IGN. Exactly the same boat here. I think the criticism has been comically over-exaggerated. If the criticism is in protest to Naughty Dogs treating, supposedly treating their staff like they have been, I'm all for it. Give that game a zero out of ten if that's what you think is going to whack some sense into these companies. Um... And whack some sense into the um, critical reception. Like, if you think that's what, if you think that's going to help, that's great. Personally, um, I would like to play the thing that these poor fucking developers were slaved over. Give my opinion, my honest opinions on it as it's being presented to me, and enjoy the game for what it is. I am really fucking enjoying it. If I have to rate it so far, eight. I would not give it a, a 10 in the slightest. I've seen too many fucking inconsistencies and too many problems for it to be perfect. I would I would, I would, would be leaning more towards The Last of Us 1 being a 10. Even though I wouldn't give it a 10, I would lean more to that being a 10 than Last of Us 2. But I'm still really fucking enjoying it. Um, but, wait, sorry? Yeah, okay, I say, Ra Rashka Firaska is saying, um, wait, uncut, what's, wait, 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 wait. People in the chat are saying that there's uncut play. What, are they streaming uncut gameplay right now? Holy shit, are they? Wait a second, I'm just gonna wait. Demo footage on YouTube right now. Wait, 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 wait. Okie dokie, okay. Shit just got real, guys. Shit just got real. We got banooked in our flukes. Okay, right. Wait a minute, I'm just searching on YouTube right now. Crash for gameplay. That was the interview there. Um, three minutes of new gameplay. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. I see it. Okay, right, right, right. Let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Let's watch. Let's watch. But anyway, before we before we start this, um, yeah, no, I was I was in the middle of talking about Last of Us Two, just really quickly, and then we'll move on. Yeah, okay. For what they uh, Naughty Dog have been alleged for doing with their staff, fucking disgraceful, absolutely. But I don't want the work that has gone into it to be for nothing. I, I like, I want it to be worthwhile for everyone that slaved over it, and I want them to get paid. I want them to be compensated. I just hope that they are. If Naughty Dog start fucking around with that, then I'll be pissed off. But if they get compensated for it and they get like in multiple ways, if like like basically. It's been comically... People are bashing the game itself now more because they think the game is shit more than because of the Naughty Dog thing, which I don't understand because, holy shit, have you played bad games? Last of Us 2 is not a bad game. It's it's not a 0 out of 10, but it's, you know, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm wrapped up into the story. I want to make it into the end, but yeah, let's go. Let's go, go, go. 100 bits from um, Corify Games. Caddy, there's something odd about the US version of the trailer. It only says it's for the PS4. The Xbox logo is completely missing. Probably just a mistake. Wouldn't look. I wouldn't look too much into that. Crack um, Wagon J Jackson again. I'm sorry, I can't say your name. I've seen some people saying the PS Store has new info on Cl Crash in the description. Could be worth checking. Um, I'll have a look in a sec, yeah. But yeah, uh, Conlin Arts in the chat is saying there are a lot of things that aren't good in that game. Yeah, you're right. There aren't. That's why I would give it, so far, with my experience, I've played about seven hours so far, I think there's lots of things fantastic and lots of things that could have been ironed out. I, I, I'm not as impressed as I was, I'm not as enveloped as I was with the original one, but that doesn't mean it's bad, so 
but then I'm just look. I'm looking at this as just me playing something that I got. I mean, it's it's video games at the end of the day, guys. It's video games. It's not war. It's not supposed to be fun. That's why it's called War Vector. Kitty girl, thank you so much for the hundred bits. There's supposedly more info in game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people on the PS Store. We'll watch the gameplay. Um, also, um, honey, what was it you were gonna say? Oh, people have made Animal Crossing Lego sets. Oh my god. Oh, they're adorable. Oh my god. Can you, can you, wait, can I have a look? Are they like homemade? Are they like people using those fake blocks? You can buy them. They're like, they're Are they on Etsy? No, I just on Facebook. Oh my god, look at these. These are, okay, again, completely off subject, but check these out. These are really, really cute. I think they're they're not they're not official Lego pieces. I think they're like those um those knockoff like really cheap Lego pieces. But they are so fucking cute. Anyway, yeah. Might have to buy. Yeah, why not? Mm. Anyway, this opening freeze frame is gorgeous. Says Dredge and Bungo. Yeah, you're right. I'm liking Crash's um. <laughs> I'm liking I'm liking Crash's gritting teeth. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Got a double jump. Oh, the classic spin sound is the same spin sound. Oh, we got cuts. We've got cut scenes in the gameplay. Okay, interesting. Also, I liked the little um. Okay, did we just change to Coco out of nowhere just then? Wait a second. First of all, I really like the um the um little exclamation marks that pop up above Crash's head just then. Sorry, wait a minute. Just want to go back a little bit. Yeah, look, I like that. I like that. That's because it because he because that says to me now he's not going to talk. He's going to make noises and they're going to like make and make make him more emotive based on those kinds of like um, symbols and stuff, which I'm I'm fine with. Um, so yeah, wait a second. The it, the screen fades to black. I don't know if that means we're changing characters or if we're changing like from one gameplay to like one gameplay recording to another. So we'll see. I don't, I don't, I think that was a cut in, but then the mask was in the same place, everything was, I don't know, we'll see. But this is the slowdown power up. So my guess is, if there's time trials in this game, that using that power up, checkpoint has Wampa Fruit in it, that's weird, they've never done that before. But yeah, that, that says to me that maybe if they have time trials that come back, the they the platinums would expect you to never use the slowdown move, or if you use the slowdown move, you might have a penalty, like extra seconds added on or something, um, which would be really interesting. So that th hopefully that says to me that those aren't situational power ups. They are totally possible to get that those platforming situations are totally possible to get by without you needing to use the power up. That's what, what I would like because that's why I like the uh, the original trilogy so much. Um, Potolny Kubus, a hundred bits cheer. So thank you so much. As a Switch and PC player, I feel a bit robbed and sad. Well, you've got the insane trilogy. That's that's and and CTR on Switch at least. Veteran Owl has subscribed. Thank you so much. Yeah, the thing is though, like Crash has always been a console thing. I mean, if people, d I know it sucks, but people should expect some things to be console exclusives at this point. But um, yeah, I mean, if if they can keep this whole kind of thing of like. Like the bazooka. The bazooka is a great example of this. Like you don't ever have to use it once, but in some places it's really helpful, and in other places it's really badass. And for inexperienced players, it's pretty much required in some places. And I want these power-ups to be the same. So if you can get past all these difficult, fast-moving platforming sequences without using the power-ups, like this, yeah. If you if you can feasibly get by them, probably not. No, they're moving too fast. But you know, there's still time. <laughs> time. There's still time. Um, they might change it. I don't know. It looks. It looks like a situational. Um, but then, it, I mean, I say they're situational. You could use them at any time if you're less experienced. But I'm just talking about the platforming bits in general. Like, if you can't do this here, you have the choice to use it. That's what I'd like. I would like the power-ups to be usable whenever you feel like you should. Um, like the bazooka, like the crash dash, like the the death tornado spin. What's that, honey? Yeah, the shine on the ice is really good. Death animations are back. That's good to know. But if you can only use them at specific situations, then that would be kind of disappointing. Because then that just doesn't... It looks like it, but then... Oh, I don't know, guys. 
Like here, obviously, you can't get by this without um, using... Or maybe you could. You could do a Death Tornado Spin Glide if they bring the Super Spin back. Yeah, you could get... You could... You could get by, by them. Okay, so it looks like... Mm, it looks like you pick up those power-up masks throughout the level. So I think that they're just crates that get... like I think they're like invincibility. I think they're like... You grab them and you have a certain amount of time to use them before they go away. That's what I'm guessing this is all about right now. Which is kind of disappointing, but if it makes the levels a little bit more interesting, then whatever. It's no dip like that's no different than using um, the um, the fucking the hot the, the wakeboard thing in Crash Two. It's just another way to traverse the level for a limited time, which I'm okay with as well. It just would be nice if they were a little less situational, and you could use if you were less experienced, you could use them, and if you're more experienced, you didn't have to use them, which is why I like the power ups in the original games. Oh, this looks so fucking good. There's a junkyard, yeah. Which is very similar to that, yeah. Oh, we got rope swinging, okay. That's new. Yeah, the slide's back, good to know. <laughs> She's got her, um, not the belly flop, but the butt slam move. This looks so good. And maybe it's because okay, maybe it's because it's the st it's the stream itself that's a little bit ch like we're watching. Apparently, we're watching in um 60 FPS right now. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, wait a minute. Yeah. So if this does run at 60 FPS on PS4, I'm sold. And I mean, I'm sold already. But that would be it. That would be me sorted. Like my main concern is. Not, no, not my main concern, but if it is able to... Because all the insane trilogy shit that they showed off before the PS4 version came out was all 60 FPS. And and then they released it on PS4 and Xbox and it wasn't 60 FPS until the PC version came out. So I'm hoping that this isn't PC footage and then they fucking jip us at the last minute. That would be so lame because they've already done that. But hopefully, I mean, it does, but we'll see. Either way, it runs really smoothly problem is because it's a stream and because it's a youtube video on a stream it could be 30 that that just looks really smooth oh stop trying to show me Ant. i don't want to watch him i don't want to watch ant dude yeah um anyway yeah kitty girl 100 bits thank you so much makes me wonder if this will have dlc levels they showed it can work with the level for a insane trilogy could introduce new power-ups and level ideas i think the dlc ship for the original game first of all stormy ascent was just a nice little bonus because that level was basically already completed and just taken out of the original crash one so it wasn't really adding anything um whereas future tense was just a teaser to say hey guys we've still got ideas for new crash levels i don't think i don't think it was a case that they wanted to add more depth and um complexity and um content to the game i think it was just a little kind of hey we had an I original idea for a level this might mean there's another crash game being worked on maybe so um there you go yeah i just yeah i just wanted to, i just wanted to run smoothly if it runs at 30 i'm i'm good that yeah that's the thing bearded and um, bearded act of is just saying in the chat every official trailer looks like it's running at 60 i'm getting vibes that it's 60 because it's saying 1080p 60 on the stream but that just be it could be the stream quality that makes it look running. It could be 30 that's just looking smoother than it actually is because it's not directly being shown to us from a console. You know, it could be a, a million different things. It could be a really smooth looking 30 because of the animations and because it's a YouTube stream or it could be 60 and I just and it's a PC version. Who fucking knows? But um, yeah, anyway, I think I'm I think I'm done. Is there anything in the chat I'm missing? Oh, yeah, the the. Um, PlayStation Store. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Wait a second. Um, I'm not seeing it. Oh, Crash Bandicoot 4. Here we go. Oh, it's on the US site. Okay, it's not it's not popping up on the UK site. Okay, right. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um... It's got seven five-star ratings already. Oh, there's Aku. There he is. Looking very concerned. Looking very angry, yeah. Mm. So what have we got here? Um, 
So you get digitally and you get the skins. Okay. Um, Crash Bandicoot game, new abilities, more playable characters. Um, yeah, alternate dimensions. Obvi yeah, okay, so it is doing a dimension thing. So we might even be going from, like, back to Wrath of Cortex. We might be jumping, like, Wrath of Cortex era Crash back into the Crash 1, 2, 3, this one being the fourth one continuity. We'll see. Redonkulous bosses, for sure. Same awesome source, you bet your sweet jorts. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, are they actually jorts? Oh, jean shorts. Not in this universe. Um... Online features require an account. Online features. I'm assuming that might... Okay, if they're bringing the um, time trials back, then I'm assuming that might be people comparing their best times, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, take my Banuka bit, says Iron Ninja 2000. Thank you for the 100 bits. And Mighty Amayman has subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, Co-op would be really weird. I don't. I don't know why they'd do that. But I think that's all the info we've got here. Hmm? Oh, well done, honey. 102 days. Jeez, this doesn't... Considering we've been in lockdown for nearly the same amount of time, that's not too far away. Um, that's, that's all we can say here. Am I missing anything here? Wait, did you say... Wait, offline multiplayer. Wait, what? Oh, God, you're right. Yeah. Offline multiplayer. Um... Enhanced gameplay on PS4 Pro console. Hopefully that means we can pick between 4K visuals 30fps and 1080p 60fps like what with um, God of War does and the Uncharted um, stuff. Hopefully we can work that. Hopefully that's what it means. But um, offline multiplayer? Do you think there's a bonus mini, mini game mode? Like with Sonic and the Secret Rings? <laughs> and we got Crash Bash 2.0 but hidden in Crash 4? Is that is that why it's going to be $60? Is it going to be like... A, a separate bonus game attached to this game. Like, you go to the war room and there's another level you can go to. And it takes you to, like, a fucking massive minigame thing. Mario Party style. Who knows? If, if, we're, if we're already fucking over and retconning the continuity from what we've established so far and saying, hey, this is the actual fourth one, then... Then maybe we maybe maybe the multi-dimensional thing, maybe we go back into the Crash Bash universe and do a better version of Crash Bash. That'd be cool. Um, DLC, 50 bit cheer, thank you so much. Anyway, I don't think, is there any, I'm going to look in the chat quickly. Is there anything else do you think I could look at or have we pretty much done? What do you guys think? Anything I've missed? Yeah, where's Torna? Hmm. Good question. I didn't show, well, I mean, there's screenshots of Torna, but I'd rather look from the official sources, honestly. There's a website. Nothing else besides that Japan is calling this one Crash 4 as well, so that must confuse all the Japanese players that have Wrath of Cortex. It's four players. I don't think, yeah, Derp Man is saying that it's four players. Yeah, four four player offline, that doesn't mean that you'll be able to play them all at the same time, but maybe it does. Uh, so who knows? It might be like a fucking Mario 3D World kind of situation. Um, Creative Welshman, 100 bits. Have you checked the PlayStation blog? I mean, I can Google what I can Google. Let's have a look. Um... Crash for Torna? Let's see what we can... I just want I want them to be official um, sources. That's the problem. I don't want them to be leaks or anything like that. No, I'm not seeing anything. No. Nothing for Torna. N nothing official, anyway. Oh, my fucking God. Um, guys, don't ever search Crash 4 Torna on Google Images, because a couple of images down, you are going to have, um, a bit of a problem. I, I can't show it on stream, because I'll get taken down. Yes, you can, honey. This has nothing to do with Crash 4 or Torna. Wait, hang on, I can't see. Where? Oh, there we isn't, go. isn't she supposed to be a kid? Isn't she supposed to be in her young teens? Um... That's not good. <laughs> no. No. Um, why is why when you search Crash Four Torna, which is a a very, I'd say that was a, um. Well, what else is that the only? That, one? but that's like a couple of images down. That's not even buried. That's just there. Oh, God. It's just there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable thing for a kid excited for the game to look up a design of. They're gonna have the. They're gonna have. The, 
Their lives are going to flash before their eyes. They're going to hit puberty before they hit nine. For fuck's sake. <laughs> They're going to learn a whole, the whole, a whole new meaning of the word internet. Anyway, what the hell are we doing? Okay, PlayStation blog, yeah. Blog, Crash 4. I'll just see if there's anything else. Um, let's see here. Okay, we've got, we've got a blog post here. Let's put that here. It's about time. Launches on. I like. I, I just like how they're continuing on from the whole um, um, Crash Three time traveling thing. It's cool because Crash Two kind of carries on from the whole. Oh, it's just an area that you explore thing from Crash One. And then there's that the, like the secret warp room in Crash Two shows you the Wamper Islands from Crash One. So it's almost like Crash Two is an ex a natural extension to Crash One. This is going to be a natural extension to Crash Three. Anyway, let's have a look at this here. It's about time for Crash Bandicoot. That is the dumbest capital I I've ever seen at the start of a paragraph. It just looks like a big line. It's about time for Crash Bandicoot. The orange spin jumping and dancing marsupial. He's going to do the dance. Yeah. Is he going to do the running man or is he going to do his fucking pelvic hip thrusts? We can only dream. Um, To return in a game that's true to success to his original trilogy. Jeez, they're really rubbing that in, aren't they? I think there's going to be a lot of fourth wall breaking, a lot of winks and nods, a lot of uh backhanded slaps to some of the lesser known and lesser respected crash games after crash 3 fittingly named crash bandicoot 4 it's about time coming to this fall playstation 4 yes we're for real crash is back it's about time our hero returns in platforming glory to playstation yeah 96 uh, crash bandicoot rest is history fan favorite from the original playstation that is a crisp looking script that looks better than any of the um footage we saw because it was being streamed but that is a crisp ass screenshot that looks fucking gorgeous um, Dr. Cortex, experiment gone wrong, marsupial mayhem, bloody bloody tauna, for saving the world, mind controlling cortex vortex. This brash bandicoot, no, it's crash bandicoot, also faced <laughs> a bad joke. Friends and foes alike, including cortex, mentor, mentor in a mask, uka uka. They've mentioned uka uka and tauna. Entropy, they've mentioned. I mean, it is, but just in time, he's the master of time. They wouldn't be mentioning these characters if they weren't going to appear. We've already seen engine pop in, so. Uh, on October 2nd, the saga continues off where Warped left off. They are making this very clear that even though Wrath of Cortex also happened where Warped left off, that must be an alternate continuity now. This is like a fucking Zelda situation now. Cortex and Entropy are free from their penitentiary. Yep. Entropy is in the game, which also means Uka Uka is definitely going to be here. Because if Cortex and Tropy are there, carrying on from three, then Jesus Christ is definitely going to be Uka Uka as well. Oh, DLC, um, 225, 100-bit cheer. W what would the fourth playable character be, in your opinion, for offline multiplayer? Crash, Coco, Cortex. I mean, maybe maybe they'll bring Crunch back. Maybe it'll be a case of, like, Cortex has the same idea to make another Bandicoot like he does in Wrath of Cortex, but they just do it without being Wrath of Cortex. So he's like, oh, I, th I, th I thought I had this idea before somewhere, but I don't know why I didn't do it before. They could make a really funny joke about that, like... I, I swear to God I tried to make a Bandicoot before and it didn't work, but I know that definitely Crunch Bandicoot will not go wrong. You know, they could make a joke about that, I, I guess. Um, anyway, let's have a look. It's developed by Toys for Bob. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Keep to the core of what Crash, Crash Bandicoot experience is. An insane, intense and insane... Do you know what? Wait a second. Um, 3D platforming game de defined by a certain marsupial's brash attitude. It all began with development using the old consoles to play the Crash ca Classics. Good. Not using the Insane Trilogy. Because that, I mean, it naturally just feels a lot different. Comparing them to recent remasters. Thank you. That's what I was just about to say. Interacting with hardcore fans within the studio. Gaining insight from the Crash community at large. Well, that's good. Because I don't think they did that for the for Twin Sanity or fucking Wrath of Cortex. I think they just did their own thing. They figured they were untouchable. Along with keeping the nostalgic feel, Toys for Bob is tailoring the games for the past, present, and new Crash fans alike through reimagined, updated art style, new mechanics, ability to switch between modern and retro modes. Okay, modern and retro modes. One mode tailored to those seeking the old school platforming vibe, the other a little more forgiving, but no less difficult to master. Could that mean that the masks aren't situational in the more forgiving mode? Maybe the modern mode? Maybe retro mode is you use the power-ups when you only when you're allowed to. And then the modern mode is you have access to them all the time and you can use them whenever you want just to make things a bit easier for yourself. I like that idea. We'll see. But anyway, I was just going to say, before I click on that screenshot, I was going to see... Oh my god. This is a nice F11. F11. Look at that. 
That's nice. Nice bit of fog in the back as well. Cure. That that was a cure, NA. Oh, that was love. Beautifully timed. NA, one dollar. Entropy and Tornus scene in promotional art. Oh, okay. I I mean Oh sorry, DLC I never asked about Yeah, Crunch. I did answer that, yeah. Entropy and Tornus scene in promotional. I mean we know entropy's gonna be in it. I don't know why people keep calling him Entrophy as well. It's Entropy. Like Entropy. Um it's it's it is a word. I don't know what it means, but it is a word. Yeah, they're, like they're all they're all like engine and entropy. It's all it's all um it's all puns. I should look it up. Embryo. It's all it's all puns. Like embryo. Yeah. But um, Kitty Girl, th thirty bits. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that that looks good. So what what we'll do is if we um open up these screenshots, and then F eleven them. Oh Jesus Christ! Look at that. This looks like some, this looks like some sort of fucking Disneyland shit. This is like really nice. God, we're gonna play that. And oh my lord! Okay, there's two uh, meanings. What? There's two meanings, yeah. Right, there's one blah -de blah one and one that's probably the one that. Mhm. Mm there's blah blah blah, and then lack of order or predictability, gradual decline into disorder. A gradual decline into disorder. That's and uh, yeah, and entropy. Yeah, that's yeah. that sounds pretty pretty accurate. Yeah. yeah um, sorry. Anyway, sorry. Um. Yeah, NA donated a dollar and said they see you in promotional art. I'd, again, if it's promotional art, great. I, I I like to see it from the official sources that appear come from it. I've 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 been burned by leaks before. If it's leaks, I don't bother. Um, but if it's being announced officially, fucking awesome, great. So if someone has um that somewhere, um then. Like you, you, you say, um, entropy and Torna scene in promotional. I just typed in Crash Four Torna and I saw nothing on Google Images. So that was searching the entirety of Google Images. I couldn't see anything. So I, I doubt it. I doubt it. But then it might be true. I don't know. Who's to say? Who's to say? But hey, this looks fucking awesome. Pirate World. But that is just another Crash Three world. So we've got like prehistoric future, Chinese, um, fucking um, what else have we got? Underwater, Pirate World, which is where the jet ski levels take place in Crash 3. This is basically Crash 3, but just expanded to fuck. Like, oh my god. This is great. Um, F11. Right, where else have we got? Any more fucking amazing screenshots? I'm gonna have to use one of these as my desktop background. I might use the- I might use that one as my desktop background. That's nice. As you can see, this reflected in the game's reveal trailer and screenshots. Visually, Toys for Bob is introducing a fresh take to Crash's friends, his enemies, and the landscapes around them with a new art style, while staying true to the franchise's zany spirit. Expect to see new worlds, lush vistas, absurd variety of enemies and hazards in a style, and visual fidelity fit for the modern gaming experience. Expect to see larger landscapes this time too. There are points along your platforming path that you can spot subsequent levels within the one you're currently navigating. The environments are alive with a wacky and walk. A wacky and wonky sense of motion. If you change the... Mmm. If you put the N in wonky into that, that is... Mmm. The environments are alive with wanky and wonky sense of motion. You, you could probably reword that. And energy everywhere you care to look. With such vibrancy on display, expect a whole new set of platforming tricks like wall running, rail grinding, rope swinging to help you with every nook, cranny, and secret spot. The result is a love letter to Crash fans by Crash developers at Toys for Bob. Jeez, look at the facial detail. That looks like a model. That looks like a f action figure. Hang on, that's that's oxide. That's that's fucking oxide from CTR. I can't zoom in. Why don't you let me zoom in? Yeah, that's oxide. That's his species. That's his species. Is it oxide? It's oxide. <laughs> it's his species, and he's wearing giant oven gloves that go all the way up to his arms, <laughs> and he's got like a tool belt on. Is it? It's his species. <laughs> It's oxide, oh my God. and he's got he's got he's got testicle cheeks. Look oh. at these. What's he keeping? What's he keeping stored in there? Babies. He's got nuts for the winter. Look. Oh, oh. It? it's oxide. <laughs> it's a species. Um. Well, whoever was playing this game, if they if they if they're moving this direction, if they're going up this way, then that means if they're coming towards the screen, then they miss these two boxes here. So I would be making the same face that. Um, his species was making right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool. I never thought I'd see a fat oxide before. That's a new one. Um, the bad the bad guy in Crash Team, it's oxide. I thought you were actually asking who oxide was. No, you're just fucking with me. I don't think it's a boss. I just think it's a regular enemy. But look at the facial detail on Crash. That looks like a fucking action figure. That's amazing. 
Kitty Girl 100 bits, thank you so much. Maybe the new masks are a remake of the masks from Wrath of Cortex. I mean, it could be a new... Maybe? But they're not doing the same things. I mean, slowing down time, anti-gravity, it's not the same as the elementals. I think they're completely different uh, masks entirely. But again, they might they might wink and nu they might wink and nudge to it, you know? It seems to be taking a lot of cues from the beats of Wrath of Cortex, which is why I think there might be crunch, but we'll see. Uh Crash and Coco are still jumping, spinning, and whomping around as they are known for, but don't think they've sat around for the past two decades with nary a new trick up their lack of sleeves. Well, no, they've had CTR, so what are you talking about? New to Crash Thrall, the Quantum Masks. Yeah, they're not the Elementals. Four powerful guardians of space and time that give our heroes the power to bend the rules of reality to conquer dangerous obstacles in exciting new ways. Ah, uh, so they're, they're all related to time and space. That, that's why you can slow time. That's why you can fucking flip the gravity. So they're, so they're not extensions to Crash's abilities as, mu as much as they are part of the world themselves which is really cool out of these four masks two were fully introduced within the launch trailer but you might remember one from the it's time to play video in november 2019 yet the one i got the jigsaw puzzle for weeks ago oh look at this um remember the mysterious mask about coco during that kart racing scene that was kupunawa the time mask oh what language is that is that like a translated thing that's awesome i like that name um, who slows down time to allow for even more precise movements. The other mask features in the launch trailer, Ika Ika, the gravity mask, will let Crash and Coco perform upside down despite the regular laws of physics. Thanks for clearing that up. I thought that I didn't know that's how they worked. Developer Toys for Bob are set to sprinkle these and two additional floating face friends, don't ever call them floating face friends again, along the course of dozens of levels. This results in a variety of new powers and abilities for Crash, and allowing for a wider variety of challenges and difficulties as the game progresses. We have now got... Another screenshot. Ah, oh, maybe I'll use this one. This one's this one's nice and simple. I like this one. I'm liking the um. Has his have his shoes got toe beans? Oh. Does that mean that he's got holes in his shoes, or are they toe beans on his shoes? Oh fucking hell. Um. Oh, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Um, wait a minute. I'm just see if there's anything else here. Oh, we've got a Coco screenshot as well. Damn, look at the detail. This looks properly future frenzy. All the buildings and all the neon lights and everything. All that, like, the moving plat... She's standing on one of those platforms that move by themselves, like the conveyor belts in Crash 3. So, that sounds pretty... Yeah. Oh god, there's loads more. Purchasing the game digitally at the PS Store will grant you the totally tubular skins available at launch, which puts Crash and Coco into some digs that show off their radical roots. Yeah, so they're trying to make it look like, oh look, this is the 90s, you know. Um, suggested retail price. So clearly they've said, I mean, Sonic Forces was a budget title, and they had to decide that that was a budget title. If they've decided, like they said, suggested retail price. So if they've looked at it and thought this was worth $60, then fuck, it's gonna be a big game. Or at least it's gonna be a game worthy of our time. Um... Yeah, Cortex looks great. Um, I like it. Oh, he's even got his face on the screen. You can't have Cortex without his own face being everywhere. That's fucking Surge from System of a Down. Like, just totally. And it's a mirrored shot as well. The end's backwards. So now the question is, how does he go from the small, the lowercase N when he's a baby? How does he get the big N on? Does he, does he rip it off and put that on? Because it looks like it's sticking out there. I thought it was a tattoo. But it looks like it's, like, sticking out from his head. Interesting. Oh god, we've had a lot more. Anonymous Cheerer, 100 bits, thank you so much. Um, our, um, Reg Connect, 5 bits, thank you so much. Uh, Monster of Truth, 100 bits. Um, Crash 4 should have had Spyro 4 demo. Very good point, that would have been cool. Also, I was the one that gave the 100 bits Anonymous first time donating. Very, very fucking kind of you. Thank you for the heart. You, that, that's really sweet of you. Well, thanks for, thanks for coming out of the woodwork. I, I love, I love, I, I appreciate every bit of... Um, support I get, but knowing the names of or the usernames of people, that's one step forward into me sharing my thanks. So thank you, Monster of Truth. Thanks for um, um, pucking up the courage to get your name out there. Um, Kitty Girl, 100 bits. You might have more platinum relics to do. Don't even, don't, don't fucking mention. Don't fucking, don't you fucking dare. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, re not ready for this yet. I'm still recovering from my last video. Anyway, and we got this as well. Okay, that's proper, like, Aardman-looking shit. Like, I would expect, like, a screenshot in Chicken Run to look like that. Um, yeah, there's nothing more on the blog post. Okay. So, before I go, then, I don't think there's anything 
Monster of Truth, thank you, Kelly. You're the best person ever. No, I'm not. You're the best person ever. You're the one supporting me when you really don't have to. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's proper, like... I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that look a bit um, Wallace and Gromit to you? Like, that, those teeth, that, that facial expression. And that looks like um, something... That looks like... That looks like the thing from Doom. That looks like the... Um, the Mancubus. That looks like the Mancubus from Doom. <laughs> Confirmed. Isabelle's in Doom and now Crash is in Doom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, before I go, guys, um, I'm going to get a new background for my PC. I think I, I, think I need it. Um, so, uh... I'm not feeling the Cortex one, and I'm not feeling the Coco one. That's a weird lighting as well. The color, the color scheming, and the contrast looks a bit different there. So I'm picking between, mm, nah, not that one, not that one either. Oh look, it's a species. It's oxide. Okay, it's it's definitely between these three. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? I'm gonna okay, one, two, or three. One or three. One or three carries the same. What do you guys think? Thank you for the 100 bits, my um, boy, my life, YouTube. Thank you so much. Two, 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 one, one, three, three, one, three, two. Oh, God, it's, it seems to be all over the place. No, one's, no one can seem to decide. <laughs> Someone said eight. <laughs> oh, fuck. These, they're too nice. All of them are too nice. Straw pole. That's a good idea. Let's make a straw poll. Okay. I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, create poll. Okay, guys, um, everybody in the chat, I'm going to paste this link in to the chat. So everybody go to that link in the chat there. Um... Isaac09 says use a triple monitor. I'm not going to use a triple monitor because I'm in the living room right now. I'm looking at my TV on one end of my computer and my laptop screen down here. Thanks for the votes, everybody. If it gets too buried in the chat, I'm more than happy to repaste it. It's 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 in my um it's in my control um control C. It's in my um clipboard, so I can just paste it right back in there. Uh, oh, sorry, show them again. Sorry, yeah, we've got... Um, so this is one, the lava jumping one. This is two, the pirate world. And this is three, the jungle world. Again, we've got the lava. We've got the pirates. We've got the jungle. Someone's saying, everyone's saying the dab. What dab? Where's the dab? That's not a dab. He's scratching his head. What are you talking about? Where's the dab? I don't think that's a dab. I think he's doing that. I think he's like going into crane formation for like karate or to well, whatever. I don't, I don't know the martial arts that well. Oh, thank you so much, Monster of Truth, again for the cheer. Where are we? Wait a second. I 
100 bits from Monster of Truth, thank you so much. I've been watching your stuff for a good while now. I think the first video I saw with you was from Wrath of Cortex. That wasn't too long ago, all things considered. Thank you. Um, loved how you edit your stuff. I told myself to watch your Kadikara seasons, the big videos, and saw it all. You became my favorite YouTuber so much faster than me microwaving my bread. Oh, thank you. Keep doing amazing stuff, dude. Love your content. Heart. Thank you so much. Well, if it weren't for people like you, I wouldn't be doing it. So thank you, not me. Don't thank me. Thank yourself. Oh, dearie me. I don't know how to make a slideshow. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that good with computers. I'm go. I'm, I'm going soon anyway. So I'll just have a look at the results of the um the straw poll. Uh... Oh come on, mouse. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I was. Mm... Well, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna look at the results. What does everyone think? Okay, no one's saying the lava. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Yeah, lots of lots of ones for jungle. Jesus, how many people are in the chat right now? There's a lot of you. Thanks for coming down, guys. Coming in. Um, well, I mean, if there's 146 votes, 99 votes, 46. But yeah, 292 votes altogether. So there's quite a lot of people here already. Oh, nine havoc, worm, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thanks to your videos, I started replaying the Odd World games. I love the way Abe says oops. Oops. There's 800 people watching. What the fuck? Jeez, that's crazy. Thank you so much, guys. And this isn't even for, a, this isn't, you missed the link. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> K K um, Kaxa says 766 years, actually. We had over a thousand at some point. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, guys! Thank you so much for the um for the support. That's really kind of you. I think by the looks of things, um, jungle is winning by a landslide. Nice. Yeah. Mm. I think it's probably the background you most associate. Hang on, wait a second. When people were saying do a slideshow, when you when you say that, does that mean that I can make a slideshow on the desktop itself? Or are you asking me to put a slideshow on the stream? Because if meant with the desktop, then I'm a fucking idiot. Because all I have to do is download all three. Oh my god, everyone's saying yes. <laughs> I thought you were asking for a slideshow on the stream. I didn't know you could swap between different... Oh my god, fuck me. And you know what, with that, with my complete lack of um, skill on a computer... Um, there you go. <laughs> with my true technical prowess shining through the illusion is broken I might be able to edit videos I might be able to play games but I can't PC and with that I've shattered the illusion and I'm embarrassed myself I've let you down I've let myself down I've let my family down and I'm going to google how to do a slideshow and I'm going to have a slideshow so um, thanks for joining everybody. I'm going to get back to work. Um, Last of Us 2 stream 10pm BST. Hope to see you all there. Thank you so much. Andy Trunks says, apparently I've let the queen down. No, I'm not the only one that's let the queen down. Have you ever heard of Prince Andrew? 